but as far as huge stories, well, we got the congressman. <laughs> oh, that's a big one. They, they were talking about that all weekend. It was the only story all the news was talking about. Yeah, we'll talk about that a little bit when we get back. We can't really read the transcripts over here, unfortunately. But no. but this guy, uh, he was um, he likes maybe the boys. Uh, wanted to have sex. He likes the boys. Oh, no, young boys or of age? Uh, 16? Young, young boys. He's finished. Little yeah. pages? Finished. He, re he resigned, it, like, immediately. Who is he from where? Uh, Florida. Democrat, Republican? Republican. Older man, huh? Dude, older Republican who is on the... He headed the Committee on Exploited Children. Uh, yeah, this guy This guy just... Yeah, we'll get into really the story next. ...really tripped over it. Yeah, Talk let's... about the fox guard in the hen house. Give me those ribs, you. <laughs> oh, well. Ow. We have audio on that? We got the news stories? Yeah, we'll figure it all out. All right, it's the only virus spreading across America. I couldn't be happier. <laughs> I couldn't be happier. About what? I've had enough of the Republicans and their conservative morality. I'm just, I'm really sick and tired of them. And I just love the fact that this guy is in, as we would say, Dutch. Ooh, oh, he's, he's a, in it. He's been a naughty boy, this Mr. Foley. Naughty, naughty boy. Mr. Foley, every good man's fault. Wanted to know about the young lad. <laughs> the young lad, yes. What a creep. Oh, dear. <laughs> My little congressional page. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Young William. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, oh this Mark's a naughty boy. Oh, I loved when I heard this, man. Yep. This is a uh, Republican, uh, Congressman uh, uh, yeah, Foley, I guess. And uh, it says, warning, sexually explicit language, reader discretion is advised on the um, transcripts of this. Email conversation he had back and forth, like a chat conversation. In 2003, by the way. Three, yeah. Three years later, it comes out. Oh, this is going back, and, and a lot of Republicans knew about this. They're they're now going through to see who knew. With the midterm elections coming up, ho ho! If you knew about this and didn't do anything, you're really going to have to campaign against the, the guy you're running against. Really, better have done something really, really bad. How great would it be if the president knew? <laughs> I knew, I knew about it. Didn't know. Well, they asked. Uh, I was watching some of the uh, talk shows yesterday, and uh, they were saying uh, one of the one of the spokesmen for the White House was saying, uh, "Well, the president learned this when the public did, when it came out in the news. He knew nothing of it." I almost said the word. <laughs> yeah, exactly. because his brother knew. Uh, yeah, Jeb yeah. is talking like crazy down Jeb in knew. Florida. And you, th you think his brothers? Look, if some guy you work with, come on. Is doing that? You don't think you're going to call your brother up and go, dude, guess what this guy's doing? Look, look, look. Let me read some. Let me yeah. read some of this. <laughs> All right. That is so hot. At your age, I would do it daily. <laughs> do you do it in the shower or in bed? <laughs> we, we, wait, we could read some of this. Yeah. Who, who do you want to be? Oh, I know you want to be the young lad. I want to be the young lad. The young <laughs> lad. I want to be the. Uh, I want to be uh, Mr. Foley. Please. Hey, uh, here's the story. Here's the latest. Congressman Mark Foley's resignation was Mark abrupt Brennan. and shocking. I am deeply sorry, and I apologize for letting down Brennan my Newton. family and the people of Florida. I have had the privilege to represent," said Foley in a short written statement. For what purposes, gentlemen from Florida rise? The six-term Republican and member of the GOP leadership made no mention of his emails with a former male congressional page or concerns, according to GOP sources close to Foley, that devastating information was about to become public. In fact, hours later, it did. ABC News reported a number of sexually graphic instant messages between Foley and male congressional pages. What are you wearing? He asked in one. T-shirts and shorts, the teen replied. Love to slip them off you, Foley allegedly said. And in another, Foley asked, do I make you a little horny? A little, said the teen. Cool, replied Foley. Ugh. Oh, he's so in trouble. <laughs> oh, boy, is he in Dutch. There's no way to say I meant to say. No. Yeah, but why no criminal charges? Uh, they're talking about it. They're hashing it over. There was no immediate response from Foley's office to those alleged messages, but a spokesman confirmed to CNN that Foley did have five email exchanges last year with a 16-year-old page. 
asking him, how old are you, in one, and in another he asks the young man to send me a pic of you as well. Oh, the young man forwarded that email, according to a government watchdog group that posted it online, to a congressional staffer, writing the word sick 13 times. The group's director got it from a Hill staffer and sent it to the House Ethics Committee and the FBI. Because Representative Foley was using a personal email account to send the page emails, the former page emails, and the, and the young man was clearly made very uncomfortable by the emails, we thought it was a matter appropriate for the House Ethics Committee to investigate. Law enforcement sources won't comment, but there is no indication at this point of any criminal probe, and it is unclear how the House Ethics Committee proceeded. The page was uncomfortable? I mean, how many messages, though? No, this was a this different one. I think they, they ratted him out. I don't different think it's page. this one. Yep. I think it's a different one that ratted him. So this page happened. was into it? Oh, well, yeah. This into kid the knew exchange? it was good for him, sure. <laughs> <laughs> this boy knew. How could he not know? <laughs> Young man. Young up-and-coming uh, page yeah. trying to make his way in the political world. There's he just a, a little bit more audio, and then we'll get into the transcript. Foley's resignation yeah. sent shockwaves yeah. through the Capitol. House Speaker Dennis Hastert was visibly angry. He resigned from the House. Uh, he, he's done, as of now, he's done the right thing. Uh, I've asked John Shimkus, who is the uh, head of the page board, to look into this issue uh, regarding uh, Congressman Foley. Uh, we want to make sure that all our pages are safe and the page system is safe. safe so. How disturbing is this? Well, uh, none of us are very happy about it. Now, what makes this all the more surprising is that Congressman Mark Foley uh, is a co-chair of the Missing and Exploited Children Caucus, and he also has written some of the most recent legislation to try to crack down on Internet predators. <laughs> <laughs> See? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. We You're always said this. We always said this. The people that are so involved in a lot of these things mm -hmm. um, are usually doing them. You know how much he must have loved reading those? Let me have those transcripts yeah. so I can write some legislation. <laughs> oh, you know it. He said what to that youngster? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> shame, 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 exactly. Shame yeah, I'm going to need every one of these sick, sick pictures yes. delivered to my office. Secret. Agent man. That's who caught him. Agent man. They're giving you a number yeah. and taking away your name. Away your name. Your name. Unbelievable. Yes, oh. some of the uh, transcripts. It starts off innocently enough. Well, let's see how far we could go with this. Uh, Jimmy, uh, Jimmy wants to be the page. I want to be the page because right. I have smooth buttocks. I'll be math 54. Now, I would gather uh, his last name being Foley. Uh, what's his first name? Mark. Okay, that's the M and the A. Uh, F. His middle name has got something with an A in it. <laughs> Mark A. Foley, 54. Boy, this guy really tried to hide, didn't he? <laughs> what a dope. <laughs> you know, how about, how about Repub Rep? <laughs> Schmuck. <laughs> Repub Rep. <laughs> what a dope this guy is. He uses uh, his initials. F-L-A-R-E-P. P. That's a good one. He's one of those older men that just doesn't understand how easy it is to trace things on the internet. No, yeah, he didn't quite get the internet. You know, I don't like, understand. That's like me using uh, Jay Norton. Right. They'll never know. <laughs> what a dope. That is funny, Jimmy. It's, All right. It starts out innocently enough with just a hey. And then I have an auto response uh, scrounging for food, BRB. Okay. Keep scrounging. And then six minutes later, I come back and I say, boo. And uh, for some reason... Uh, Wait, I... so the page started this conversation? No, the guy did. Mark started it. Yeah, he started with hay. Oh, okay. It showed okay. up on his auto response. So when he, he was done eating his uh, food get that gave, gives him those washboard abs, Yes. he uh, he sat down, saw the auto uh, response uh, that had been doled out to this congressman, and uh, gave him an answer. Boo. So uh, I write back, Bo, dude. Probably meant boo. Yeah, Couldn't spell it. The fact that you're 55 and trying to hook up with me and calling me dude is creepy enough. And the fact that dude, you can't spell. Dude, yeah. Dude. He's just so worked up. He doesn't want to type in that extra O. Yeah, he's too busy. He's wiping he's wiping stuff off his hands. <laughs> okay, just a mess. So, so you wrote boo dude and I wrote LOL. LOL. So let's let's see if that would be literally how it would work. All right. Boo. Boo dude. <laughs> 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 No, that was an <laughs> R-O-F-L, Jimmy. But why would you laugh out loud at <laughs> Bo, dude? Why? I don't get it. All right, so I go, LOL, and then I go, where'd you go this afternoon? 
I'm in Pensacola, had to catch a plane. Just oh. in case you didn't know what my name was from this, you can now get it from my <laughs> schedule of what I did that day <laughs> and where I went. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because your excuse would be, ah, oh, there's another uh, you know, Mark out there that's 54. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's, this isn't me, obviously. I was thinking of you when I was in row 5, seat 2F. <laughs> right. <laughs> I don't know why you'd be in row 5, seat 2F, but you get the picture. <laughs> of course. <laughs> what a dope I am. Uh, uh, oh, well, that's fun. Indeed. What are you doing in Pensacola? Now in my hotel room. Well, like, why did you go there? And here's another one, just in case you don't know who the guy is, for the campaign. <laughs> I don't think it's, it's, is this Genghis Khan? <laughs> Hold on, someone wants to tell us what Bo means instead of Boo. Steven in Virginia Beach, All what's right? up? Yeah, I'm not positive, but I think Bo is B-O, back on, like back online. No, dude, uh, just, just a guy you responding. No, no, I uh, maybe it is, but the, I went Boo. And then the older the older uh, gentleman who I had come to for counsel went, Bo, dude, he's trying to boo me back and be young and hip. It was just a, a typing error. Well, Kevin from New York, uh, Bo probably means bend over. So. <laughs> oh, well, bend okay. over, dude. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's go to Bill in Queens. Bill. Guys. Hey. Hey, uh, I was a page years ago, and this is tame compared to the crap that, uh, that uh, went on. Nothing happened to me, but... You must be fat uh -oh. and ugly. Uh, I was really skinny, <laughs> Ooh. and I had like yeah, I was, I was kind of ugly when I was like li little. And I know of a number of senators and representatives who sober would make passes in like like the Capitol building, the little time where, where they all gather. Yes, sir. Not to deliver files, and somebody like I know a buddy of mine had his butt grabbed by four different representatives. Um, we would get gifts in exchange for certain favors, and the girls got it worse than we did, than the guys did. Well, I would hope so. Yeah, but, certainly but, it should be. You know, it's it's uh, tragic all around, yeah. but I mean, I would hope that the girls would get it a little more. I mean, for God's sake, they're in charge of our country. <laughs> all right, let's get back to the transcript. So, uh, Where were the, we? For the campaign, you... Uh, yeah. Have you officially announced yet? Not yet. <laughs> Jesus. Cool. Cool. Okay, now here's where the creep meter starts really kicking in. <laughs> Wait, do we have a... <laughs> here's where... Oh, uh, hold on, hold on. After the cool, cool, cool... Talking about the campaign, Pensacola, catching a plane. It was creepy with the, you know, just a, a boo dude. Uh, but no, they're just still a little chit-chat at first. Yeah. That's all you really need little, to get... A little chit-chat. A page of uh, text just to start the conversation. And then uh, you say, cool. Cool, cool. How my favorite young stud doing? <laughs> um, tired and sore. I didn't know waltzing could make you sore. From what? Wait a minute. This kid's 16 and he's doing the waltz? Waltzing, uh-huh. Mm -hmm. That's why he's talking back to this guy so long. Yeah, no wonder he didn't just log off after that <laughs> remark. He's a waltzer! You waltzer. That's one thing you don't want your, your father to, to find. I know father wants to hear his son is a waltzer. Dad, I'm waltzing. You don't want your daughter to be pregnant with the baby of a golfer or your son to be a waltzer. <laughs> oh, my God. This gets really creepy. Um, yeah. All right, go ahead. I didn't know waltzing could make you sore. From what? What do you mean, from what? From waltzing. I'm sore from waltzing. <laughs> That's good. You need a massage. I'm. It's uh seven thirty nine. He signed 32. off. Thirty two. I signed off at seven thirty nine thirty seven. Signed back on at seven forty thirty five. <laughs> Here's what that means. He was he was all frothed up and he hit the wrong button and jumped off line and he probably went ah damn it god damn it god damn it, internet connection and he called the front desk. I want this internet hooked up or I'll campaign against you. He was or a, he got a, sir, Jeb Bush is on the phone. Ah! <laughs> just like hit every button, on, unplug your computer from the wall. Just start kicking at your hard drive. 
Da! Mr. Marshall! Da! Hamna, hamna, hamna. Hello, Paige. <laughs> Gotta type quick. Mr. Marshall will be here in five minutes. I'll rub your sore backside. Okay, Ralph. Hamna, <laughs> hamna. <laughs> this... <laughs> Dude, I've been in dirty conversations oh. when you get like all of a sudden you get kicked offline. He signed back on. He probably took in him a whole minute. A minute. He yeah. kept flubbing his password. He was so <laughs> he was all frothed up. <laughs> it took him a minute, <laughs> like less than a minute to get back on. He couldn't get his password right. He's like, oh, there's an F. There's a wait. There's two G's. A T. Or, right. <laughs> Can't spell Foley. <laughs> his password's probably Foley. It's true. Yeah. <laughs> Rep Foley. <laughs> yeah. All right. And, I'm, and uh, he finally comes back, and I go, got kicked off? Mustard! <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. Tomorrow I have the first day of lacrosse practice. Love to watch that. Those great legs running. Ha <sighs> ha. They aren't great. That's why we have conditioning. Two days running, three days lifting. Every week. Until the end of March. Well, don't ruin my mental picture. Oh, LOL. Sorry. All right, go back and do it the right way now. Okay. Well, don't ruin my mental picture. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Nice. You'll be way hot then. <laughs> ha ha. Hopefully. Better be. Well, I better let you go. Do your thing. Oh, okay. Have fun campaigning. Or however you spell it. LOL. I'll see you in a couple of weeks. Okay, now we're going to get into some problem areas. Uh, well, you, you let's just say that you can... Leave. I say we do the blank blank hold, game. Hold, hold on, hold on. Wait, you, you know what to do over there? I think, uh, yeah. You can leave one word off on that one. Even if you leave both. Yeah. No, that, that's it. You can... Uh, I would, I would, I don't know. I think they're going to dump us. No, not at all. Guaranteed, not with that one. I think they will. The boys I, looking I really, for help. I really think they'll dump us. Let's see. All right. Let's take a little test. Hold all on. Right. Hold on. We got this working. Yes. Okay. Did any girl give you a hand this weekend? <laughs> all right. Let's check, please. Checking, 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 checking. You don't even need to. Yeah, thumbs, thumbs up. up. Good. It's good, right? Yeah. Yeah, of course. All right. LOL, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm single right now. My last GF and I broke up a few weeks ago. Are you, uh. Oh, are you? Are you? I don't know what context this is in. I'm just sending it. <laughs> Are you good so you're getting horny? LOL. A bit. All right, do it the right way. I just can't stop laughing. This kid just laughs. He works on his body and he laughs. Do How do you not love him? Do it the right way, Anthony. Come on. Okay. Are you good so you're getting horny? <laughs> <laughs> A bit. Did you... <laughs> <laughs> I'm supposed to hit the off button. <laughs> I car crashed the whole scene. They're both dead. <laughs> Did you it yourself this weekend yourself? No. No. Been too tired and too busy. Wow, I'm never too busy. Ha ha. Ha ha. <laughs> or tired helps me sleep. That's true. <laughs> Having been having a problem. Haven't been having a problem with sleep though. I just walk in the door and collapse well at I East this weekend. I'm sure. Well, at least this weekend. Uh, at least this weekend. Yeah, it's just how it's uh, printed up. I don't do it very often normally, though. Why not? At your age, seems like it would be daily. Not me. I'm not a horn dog. Maybe two or three times a week. That's a good number. In the shower? Actually... Usually I don't do it in the shower, just because I shower in the morning, and quickly. Uh, in the bed? <laughs> I get up at 5.30, and I'm out of the house by 6.10. Eh, uh, yeah. On your back? <laughs> no, face down. Love details. LOL! 
All right, Jimmy. You know the rules. Okay. So, uh, and can you back up a little? No, face down. Love details. <laughs> I see that. <laughs> <laughs> Two LOLs there, I see. Yeah. yeah. Really? Do you really do it face down? Yeah. Kneeling? The bed itself. <laughs> Where do you un... It. <laughs> Towel. Really? Are we uh are we good? No so dumps still? So All right. Completely naked. Well, yeah. Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I could say that. I'll just use the beep. Cute. Bouncing in the air? <laughs> well, I've never watched myself, but yeah, I guess. Uh, I'm sure not. Hmm, great visual. I may try that. It works. Hmm, sound interesting. I always use lotion and the hand, but who knows? I don't use lotion. Takes too much time to clean up. With a towel, you can just wipe off and go. <laughs> Where do you throw the towel? Can you mail it to uh, the Capitol Building? Care of MAF 54? Congressman Mo. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you throw the towel? But you can't work it too hard or it's not good. In the laundry. Just kind of slow rubbing? Yeah. Okay, Dump. okay. We've. Dump. I think we're reaching our dump point. Dump. Lotion in hand. Lotion. Ah, okay. ah well, well, now they got to dump that. Yeah, now out. they got to dump that. E Rock, thank you. That. You want to say it again? Uh, uh, yeah. I, think, I don't know, Al. I think you've been a little. Uh, you've been a little panicky on that one. Nah, I, I, I think that kind of draws it together. Is what he has a problem with. It might, but I mean, how, I mean, how many? She's nodding his head yes right now. There has to be a way of of, of dancing around things. The FCC has to just. Now, see, at this point, it, it could be that the kid's just playing a video game or something. Yeah. I'm just going to email somebody right now. Are you hitting the dump button about now? <laughs> what are you wearing, you freak? <laughs> okay, but you can't work it too hard or it's not good in the laundry. Yeah, just kind of slow rubbing. Yeah. Or you'll... Or... <laughs> or you'll uh, rub yourself raw. Mm-hmm. Well, I have a totally <laughs> now. Because the towel isn't very soft. He's not commenting on it, it seems. Yeah. Uh, I bet that would towel, I guess. Oh, oh but my it, God. It guy. must feel great <laughs> on the towel. This guy is just the worst. <laughs> Jimmy? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> Love this guy. Is your little guy or <laughs> I can't. <laughs> eh, growing. <laughs> mm. So you got a one now? Not that fast. Hey, so you have a fetish. I spelled it F-E-T-I-C-H because I'm a dumb boy. Hey, what? Fetish. I cracked my spelling. I like... I like steam room. What's yours? It's kind of weird. <laughs> On my line? Yeah. <laughs> I'm as <laughs> as a... <laughs> so tell me when yours reaches... <laughs> I have a cast fetish. Well, tell me, cast... Yeah, like plaster cast. Okay, so what happens? How does this turn you in? He doesn't even have the, the, the right terminology. Oh, yes, he does. <laughs> turn oh. you in. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> turn you in. <laughs> how does this turn you in? Well, if that wasn't, if that wasn't his subconscious talking, <laughs> yeah. how, does, how does this guarantee you won't get to heaven? Wait a minute. <laughs> uh, I don't know. It just does. I've never had one. People that have them turn me on. And if I had one, it would probably turn me on. Beats me. It's kind of weird. 
But along with that, I like the whole Catholic girl look. That's our school uniform. Ha, huh, that's wild. Yeah, but now I'm... Um... <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Cast got you going? Well, what are you wearing? Normal clothes. T-shirt and shorts. Mmm. So. <laughs> a big... <laughs> Yeah. Um, love to slip them off you. <laughs> and grab that <laughs> snake. <laughs> grab. But but he's all uh, freaked out. He wrote uh, grab. Gram. Yeah, G-R-A-M. And grab that <laughs> snake. And then real quick, grab. I meant grab. I don't want to grab it. I don't want to weigh it. Not oh, tonight. I want my Grammy to come over. <laughs> he can't find the keys at this point. Yeah, is that an M or a B? He, Damn it. Wipe my hands off. He's so worked up. <laughs> He's really in a froth, this guy. All right, grab. Yeah, Jimmy. Not tonight. Don't get too excited. Well, you're... That is true. And I'm a little horny. And also true. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh, no. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna read the line, but he's asking him to get a ruler, <laughs> and I, I don't think it's to measure to make sure it's an eight by ten legal pad for the next day's work. Uh, I've already told you that. Tell me again. <laughs> Seven and a half. Um. Mm, mm, this guy wrote more M's than I can count after that U. Yeah, he must have just fallen nose first onto the keyboard, <laughs> onto the M board, onto the M key. Beautiful. That's a great size. Thank you. Still. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy! Oh, you could say, well, blank. Oh, you could say word word blank. I think no. It out. Oh, I went the other way. We Too late out. now. Too late now. All right. B R B. My mom is yelling. Okay. And that was at uh, eight eleven. Yes, it says there. okay. He has to sit there now until for three minutes. Eight fourteen and <laughs> two minutes. seconds. He sat there for just three minutes, destroying his keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> Back. <laughs> cool. Hope she didn't see anything. See already. He knows yeah. this is wrong. No, no. She's computer dumb though. Makes me so mad. Good. <laughs> Why? She can't do anything. Oh, well. She couldn't figure out how to download a file from an email and open it. Ha, <laughs> ha. And she only does it like a million times a day. Oh, oh, oh well. that's you. I'm ready to just... Oh. Whatever. Well, I better go finish my homework. I just found out from a friend I have to finish reading and notating a book from AP English. And that's <laughs> when Math 54... Signs off. Not even a, a goodbye. No. He just knows it's done. It's done. There's no more hotness to be had, so he signs off uh, or, or, less than a minute later. Or he had to do what he had to do. Yeah. We, Two things uh, happened there. He had to do what he had to do, or he just was bored with the conversation. Knew it. Yeah. Well, the, the kid's the, going. The, so the saucy it, typing was done. Well, no you can see the page was just, was, was just indulging him because, uh, you know, I already told you that. Like, the page didn't want to be involved with this. He just didn't want to, you know. Yeah. It's creepy. He's kind of like... <laughs> I think he's putting up with it more than really getting into it. Yeah. Uh, to keep his his job or maybe advance his career or something. I'd love to see that first conversation. God, I hope oh. they release that. Oh. First time he there's ruler talk. And there's got to be more. Oh there's yeah. There's got to be more. Very good. Mm. There you go. Good job, Very guys. Creepy. Very good job. Right. What's an eight by ten legal pad? Oh, what? Why? There's not an eight by ten legal pad. Uh, Jeff. Hey, what's up, buddy? Could you enlighten me on legal pads, please? Eight and a half by fourteen, man. Eight and a half by fourteen. Oh, how how tall are you, dude? Uh, <laughs> yes. I'm six three. Okay, so we don't know what size a legal pet is, but we know what side a douche is. <laughs> <laughs> what side what a side? Douche? I know. I uh, said it. That's okay. Yeah, you can still have to spin out. No, it was good. Uh, uh, let's get a Paul in New Hampshire. Paul. Good intent was there. Hey, what's up, guys? Hey. hey. This is some of the sickest shit I've ever heard, dude. Ooh. They need to throw this Skinner in prison. 
Yeah, it's pretty... Uh, Paul thinks it's creepy. Yeah, it's pretty creepy S. Yeah. Andy in Detroit, what's up? Hey, fellas, just want to let you know, um, I've been hearing a lot about you. I've got family back in New York, and uh, in Detroit right now, your, your your base is starting to grow slowly but steadily, man. I'm trying to help you out, too. Thank oh, you. you got the virus Thank in you, Detroit. Detroit. Could you get a ruler? <laughs> yeah, get a ruler. I have Thank a question you. for you. Yeah. All right. Someone is saying that would have been better on XM. I don't think so. Sometimes uh, working around the rules is a lot funnier. Yeah. It's actually, and even if it would have been better to, to there really wasn't anything you missed that was that graphic. To be honest with you, it was a few things that they dump out of because they're babies. With the, but there's nothing, there's nothing hardcore in there that would have been like, my God, I can't believe. You know, you yeah, you, tell you, you the truth. It all. I think we were bleeping out more. You know, um, radio corporation policy than FCC. Yeah. yeah, and and I'd love to see. I would love to see. The FCC, we, I would love to be able to do this experiment, read this goddamn transcript verbatim on uh, the air, and then have the FCC give us a fine for reading it while the guy that wrote the goddamn thing was working for the government. This guy was working for the friggin' government, and he was writing this stuff. And let's see what kind of fine he gets or what kind of uh, uh, legal problems he runs into when, meanwhile, we can't even read this stuff. Oh, he's in trouble. We'll see what kind of legal problems he gets into, though. Yeah. All right. Why don't we take a break? We'll continue. It's uh, it's a show. It's our show. Yeah. The Opie and Anthony show. Yeah. With Jimmy. You're going to be okay. Okay. You're going to be okay. Okay. You're going to be okay. Okay. Be molested. No, she's dead. Good evening. Food or a right? Oh dear, oh dear. We have more transcripts today. Uh, a couple more, I think, came through. Nice. Good morning. It's the Opie and Anthony Show. The ONA virus spreading across America. Hope Hi. everyone is doing okay today. Sure. We have lots of show to do. We got a uh, another winner for the iMac book. Yes. We'll give that away a little later. We're going to be talking about Fatty Pig Fatty. We got new Foley IM exchanges. That's we a have a uh, human being. We have the top ten British funeral songs. What? Yeah, exactly. Who decided to put that list together? There's a new drink called cocaine that's driving people crazy. Not yeah. that people drinking it, by the way. No. They can handle it. They're into it. They're like, whatever. It's giving me a nice buzz. But the politicians are just losing their minds. With these midterm elections coming up, it is insanity what these bastards, these useless pieces of garbage that run this country on both sides, both sides are going after. Anthony was losing in the office only oh, 15 minutes ago, just I, before we got on the air. Here. Livid. And Travis is just, like, highlighting stuff and throwing it to me, knowing it's just going to piss me off. Oh, on the heels of this this friggin' Foley uh, uh, controversy. And with these young boys. Oh, dear, young boys. Please boot up my computer. Wow! William, hello. Young William, where are you? On the same ship you're on, idiot. <laughs> oh, dear. What are you wearing? Are you wearing that cute little Mylar suit and the sweater? Woo! No, keep Penny out of this. She's a girl. Ugh. Ugh. L-O-L. <laughs> Maybe we can go out and check on the hydroponic garden. Me and you, dear boy. Oh, dear. Whoa! For some reason, your parents let, let you out alone with me every night. I don't know why. Oh, dear. Please respond to me. Oh, I've kicked off again. Blasted computer. Oh! 
Signed back on 27 seconds later. <laughs> I'm all wound up in a tizzy. <laughs> oh, dear. So you were saying about Foley. Oh. Uh, well, we got, we got a few more transcripts yeah. of him talking to his young boys. Uh, that pretty much negates everything these idiots want to do. Everything? Like, yes. Until this is taken care of and we see how deep this runs and how many other uh, perverts are running around uh, uh, in uh, Congress and they're representing us and to trying to sign these bills into Two things that have really got me today. That cocaine drink. Cocaine. They are so annoyed cocaine. that this drink is called cocaine. The, you can't imagine how upset they are. And literally, you can't imagine. Because some idiot got on the news, this politician. Uh, I don't know where he was from. I'm thinking uptown. Uh, and starts talking about cocaine and putting it in a context that I, I wanted to throw my own head out the window <laughs> rather than listen to this jackass talk about this. And uh, and the online gambling. And the online gambling, right. That's got me. Yeah. How they got this bill through. How quickly this got through. We were just talking about this uh, very recently, that they want to do away with online gambling, which is pretty much poker, online poker. Every, I don't know any guy that hasn't or doesn't like occasionally to pop online and play some online poker. I, I love it. Have a lot of fun. Um, if you're responsible, which 99% of the people are, it's fine. There's some people out of control with everything. There are some people that can't handle Cool Whip. You know what I mean? They'll just eat it until they drop dead. Uh, but there's going to always be that percentage. But for the most part, people just enjoy things. Let them enjoy it. Have a little fun. It's called uh, freedom. So they, they got this bill together now, which the president is ready to sign. It's already run through. Both houses, they love it. Oh, boy, can they work bipartisanly when, when it comes to this crap, when it comes to useless garbage like this. When it comes to our actual security and things that are important, they fight and fight and nothing ever gets done. But gambling, big problem. So uh, do you think this was debated over and gone back and forth? No. I find out it's piggybacked on a bill. And how, how Opie brought this up in the office, too. Whoever put this through is a genius. Whoever, like, came up with the idea of taking a bill that you want to sign, signed into law... And have a bunch of crap on it. And that, have crap tagged to it that have nothing to do with each other. Absolutely it's nothing. It's like, uh, we're going to have a seatbelt law, we're going to go after the terrorists, and we're, uh, we're banning French fries. There you go. What? And it's like, well, the terrorism thing is very... But I like French fries. But it doesn't matter. <laughs> and most of these bloated, old, out-of-touch pedophiles uh, don't, don't even read it. They read, like, the first line and sign it. There was a guy, wish I could remember his, his asinine name, but actually signed the bill um, uh, backing the war and then later on said, well, I didn't read it. <laughs> he didn't read it. What are they doing? Well, they're generalizing, so we should generalize. They're yeah. saying that online gambling is bad for bad. everybody. Bad for everyone. No one could take it. So we're saying today that all politicians are pedophiles. All politicians, fat, bloated, out of touch pedophiles. Homosexual pedophiles. Right. That's what they That's are. That's what we're saying. Because That's if, what they, if they are. could generalize, we could generalize. If everyone can't is, take gambling. The fact is, most people could do their online gambling, and there's not a problem whatsoever. Right. It's the mm -hmm. tiny, small percentage, and actually, it's to protect the damn children again. But they're saying it's everybody has to be protected from this. Everyone's got to be protected. And we know what the real uh, issue is here. They want their peace. That's they want all. their that, cut. That's all this is about, but they're going to make believe they're protecting the children. No, they just want their piece of the action because they realize that these online gambling sites are just making a oh, ass load of fist. money. And they're not being taxed, and uh, that's what it is. So the president's uh, expected to sign the bill, making it harder to place bets on the Internet. Uh, what they're doing, in essence, is... Uh, making it uh, hard for you to use credit card companies and uh, oh. process payments, settle Internet bets. Uh, you can't use credit cards, checks, things like that to finance your accounts. And how they would then be able to pay you back uh, is going to be a difficult thing, too, how the gambling site pays you when you want to withdraw money from, from the site. So that's what they're signing into a, uh, legislation. It's, it, it, it's so infuriating, but even more so... 
is uh, here it is the chief uh, the bill's chief uh, uh, Senate sponsor was conservative Republican John Kyle, who, like Leach, has said he believes Internet gambling was a moral threat. He has called online betting as the Internet version of crack cocaine. He's a I wonder hack. what I wonder what this ass is into. I'd love to dig into his personal life because the more passion you have against something above and beyond a normal concern, the more passion you have for something above and beyond normal concern shows a problem. This guy, I would assume, in my personal opinion, to save my ass, has a gambling problem. Wow. Has a gambling problem. That would be my personal opinion. I'm not sure, but the way he's acting about this, the passion he has against it, is above and beyond what a normal person, would, how would they would react to this. Just like our friend uh, Mr. Foley had such a problem, and we'll go into that a little later, on children and sexual situations involving children and how they should be dealt with. He had such a problem. He was going new show to new show, just talking about this. And now we see what kind of a freak pervert this son of a bitch ended up being. My favorite Foley stuff today is in the oh, Daily News. Oh, it's beautiful. Where he goes on just about every talk show to talk about how bad the teenage nude camps are. Right, nudist camps, <laughs> and how parents are taking their kids to nudist camps, and how awful it is, and he uses some analogies and words <laughs> and, and terminology that, oh, who the hell knew this existed? He's pawing through it in a froth. <laughs> he, he was trying to shut down the, the nudist camps for teenagers, oh. but some of the stuff he's saying on these talk shows beyond hilarious. Oh, it's You great. can't write anything better than that. Well, they say here, look, gambling so, can be highly addictive, especially yeah. when it's done over an unregulated environment. But if they're worried about addictive things that are going to hurt you, like why not just make alcohol illegal? Get alcohol. Get cigarettes. Get, right. now, now, this this annoys me because I, I think people should have the freedom to do that too, yeah. obviously. But if it's under the guise of protecting people... If you're doing this under that guise, how about people that are completely allowed to smoke in their own home, which you're an adult, you have the freedom to do that, yet have small children and are completely affecting their children. Now, where are the politicians saving the children from their, their parents and, and that smoke? Where are they? You don't see it because the tobacco lobby is huge and tobacco is just a huge business for this country. And you'll never see that happen. Same with alcohol. Less government. There's supposed to be less, less government, government. Less intrusive government. Well, this is midterm election bull yes. crap that tries. So th so when, when the ads run, they can say, look, we're the good guys. And this makes it even worse. And this is something everyone should be aware of. The Republicans tucked this measure, this bill uh, against uh, online gambling, funding your uh, your accounts, into a bill aimed at enhancing port security, which passed early Saturday. So they got a bill that was to enhance port security. You've heard about container ships coming which in. Which is scaring the crap out it's of everybody. scaring everyone. Especially in the New York area. We're oh, well aware oh my God. that uh, a ship could come in with some crap. Container ships, they say disease, they could say bombs, uh, people, whatever. It could come out of these container ships. So increase port security and add it to that bill on the bottom. When you sign one signature, signs that bill again uh, for, for enhancing port security, you're also signing the same bill to outlaw uh, uh, online gambling. And french fries. Uh, well, and I french fries. That, but I think that's part of that bill as well. There. <laughs> well, you can't vote against it. Like, what are they going to say? You're right, because that's what the, we were saying in the back saying, office. Because so. then the commercials start playing for the midterm elections, and it says, uh, Senator so-and-so didn't sign a bill aimed at enhancing port security. And he's supposed to go... Well, on his commercial. Well, um, uh, let me explain. There was also attached to this this right. um uh, online gambling thing that I felt wasn't beep paid for idiot. That's all the people here. Right. He voted against enhancing. But I gotta vote against him. Paid for it's a scam. The politicians scamming you by piggybacking these bills. And who the hell was the first one to piggyback? And how did it get through? That's what I want to know. How did this guy go? Who's the guy in history that thought this gem up? Someone that wanted a few extra weeks of vacation a year and decided we could get a lot of crap done uh, at yeah, the same time. At the same time. <laughs> Why sign one bill at a time when we can just pile a bunch of stuff? And it probably started, <laughs> right. let me be honest, and, and maybe less cynical. It probably started with very similar things. Like this would have been enhanced port security and 
airport security. Right. Like, let's just take these two bills. They're very similar. Put them together and sign them. We'll save some time. And we'll check the trucks going into tunnels. It, trucks going into... Right. Things that are similar. Fast and forward then, a, f- a few years a and all of a sudden it's like... It comes up to, now we're banning french fries, online gambling. And sneakers on the street. And snicker bars. Uh, spitting on the sidewalk. Right. Uh, uh, bus security. Yeah. And bull bias ply radial tires. <laughs> <laughs> but what is... Why? Doesn't make sense. How? Here's the audio really fast. It's a quick story. Online gambling companies could be forced to cash in their chips if Congress gets its cash way. In and chips. some bettors aren't happy about that. I definitely think that it's uh, a little taking it a little too far. What he's talking about is a bill that's sped through the House and Senate Saturday morning. The legislation bans the use of credit cards, checks, and electronic fund transfers for online gaming. People think that this can't kill the online betting industry. They should take a look at what happens to the online pirated music sharing industry. It is definitely a possibility that this could kill the industry because the U.S. market is the biggest market. Some major online gambling companies based outside the country have already suspended or severely restricted their American operations and have seen their stock prices plummet. Just offer the government some money and you'll be back in business. Just get out of our lives. Why can't they just leave it alone? I know where this piggybacking started, by the way. There's an article on this. It was like, uh, no taxation without representation. And then some guy said, and how about it's okay to own a Negro? (laughs) (laughs) All right, where do I sign? No one will sign that. Where do ye sign? (laughs) (laughs) Absolutely. I absolutely think this legislation is going to work. I'm looking at some of the websites, and they immediately posted notices to their customers about what they were going to do. And basically what they said is, we'll follow the letter of the law. Internet gambling has always been illegal but difficult to police. Now, by shutting down the cash pipeline, the government has found a way to crack down on it. If you're online and you're gambling right now, what this means is they won't accept your American money. They won't accept your American credit cards. You're going to have to find a way to have an an anonymized email address, an offshore bank account, and an offshore credit card. All the bill needs now to become law Um, is the president's signature. He's expected to sign it soon. Of course he is. Of course he is. This is something they can all rally around. I am How about something that makes sense and helps the, the American people? I want a liberal. I'm sick. I've had enough. Yeah, we need the, the pendulum to swing the other yeah. way until we're sick of Honey. those idiots. I want a bleeding heart. I want someone that hyphenates who always says African American. I want right. Jerry Brown. I want a radical liberal. Just Enough. swing it the other way, and then we'll get sick of him yeah, and put in some old conservative crap. Republican. It's the same old crap. That's why you need a radical. You need a radical. A guy who wants to burn down the White House while he's in it. <laughs> he hates it so much. He hates himself even because he's part of the machine, man. <laughs> I hate me, man. <laughs> I want a radical. We just, we love our online gambling. Imagine that some liberal, so left wing gets in there (laughs) and the news has to report, the president assassinated himself today. (laughs) So sick of being part of the system. (laughs) He was found face first in a pile of hemp and communist (laughs) literature. (laughs) Oh, I'm sick of the conservatives. I really am. Just Get out of our life. Get out of my life. They're protecting the children. And there's the ad, of course, of all the news stations today talking about cocaine. Cocaine. The drink drink cocaine. Why don't we uh, take a quick break? And And then let's get into some coke. Yeah. Yeah. Cocaine. And the stupid news person. Now you could uh, have your cocaine right on the bar. Right on the bar. Yeah, they're talking about it like it's actual cocaine. They're making little puns and jokes. This is going to interfere with my... I'm so aggravated. I fought so many years to get this whole beverage thing together, and now my new stuff, Chilled Child's Blood, is never going to be sold. (laughs) Oh, Oh, you you joke, joke, Jimmy. Wait till you hear what a black politician said. What the next product's going to be. Oh, he speculated as to what this could be. He certainly speculated. I think the listeners should start speculating right now. I like speculating. Audience participation today on the Opie and Anthony show. Oh, they're going to be ridiculous. (laughs) Well, yeah. Stupid cocaine. Who cares? Why don't you go after the real cocaine? Why don't you go after the real cocaine instead of a stupid soft drink called cocaine? Oh, who's who's the guy that annoyed me more? This is perfect for politicians. Perfect. Don't you know, go after the real cocaine. Go after something that is named after cocaine. 
Bill was approved. 409 to 2. That's the pork security. I mean, obviously you have of to. Of course. Is that called pork barrel? I don't know. It's like a pork barrel when you throw all these things in. No. It's something it's, that they it's, do. It, pork barrel is when you, uh, uh, one of these um, fat cats, uh, congressmen, their um, district gets money based on a bill. What's it called when they just do this? Yeah, they it, they've called it piggybacking, but there's another political word for it. Bill stuffing. How did you know about pork barrel? Oh, uh, I think I saw it on the Discovery Channel. Forget Aristotle and Socrates. <laughs> Here comes Professor Anthony. Thank you. <laughs> no, I, actually, the official, I do know what it is. It's called Bill adding on to. The right. He's a Bill adder on to. Er. All right, we'll take a break and we'll continue with the cocaine drink. You got that politician yet? Mm -mm. We're cutting it up. All right, uh, Jimmy's going to lose his mind when he hears what the politician is suggesting might be the next product that comes out. I don't even know if this guy was a politician. I don't know what he was. Some kind of representative. He was representing. He represents Uptown. Uptown. He represents Uptown. <laughs> Online gambling. They're going after that. To Going protect after. the children. You know, Anthony turned me on to the whole protect the children thing. And I thought you were crazy when you uh, brought this up to well, me I am, years ago. Well, you're crazy for other every things. So often. <laughs> but now I'm with you. Yeah. Parents got to parent their kids. And, and and then we'll be able to enjoy stuff like online gambling. Or else and, we're just And, and violent it. video games. Or else we'll just be stuck in this environment of, uh, of uh, baby Einstein videos and... and, and Things that are safe for kids, rounded corners. Everything will have rounded corners and be soft and plush. No one's safe. To save us from ourselves. No one's safe. The children can grow up in a safe environment. What happened to just living your life? And you know, hey, everyone's got their crosses to bear. Everyone's got their tragedies in their life. That have, there's no politicians going to protect everybody from everything. Uh, take all the enjoyment out of life. And uh, I don't care how safe it is. It's, it's going to suck. It's fake protection. It's yeah. just fake protection because they don't want to go after the real issues. No, it's too here's, hard. Here's an issue for the politicians. Uh, I, I, I have family and, and friends in Huntington, Long Island. I live in Manhattan. You figure out how I can get home in less than an hour. An hour? Wow. That's what I'm saying. What, you got a flying car? Well, in the middle of the night, you can do it in what? Yeah, in an hour. In 50 minutes. This Any other time, it's close to two hours. Rush hours, at least two hours. That's a real issue that bothers the crap out of people, but no politician in their right mind would take that on. 17 miles would take, take that two on. Hours. Right. Well, how about uh, race mixing? Right. Why isn't anybody... Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> I didn't agree with that. <laughs> Why don't they take on the tough issues? Because it's too uh, risky. Well, it leads into the next topic here. Uh, cocaine. Uh, cocaine, cocaine you, you must is... mean the drug. Uh, who would be against uh, uh, bringing a, a, a bill against uh, cocaine and having cocaine brought into this country? And uh, oh, oh, you must not be talking about the real cocaine. Right. I mean, cocaine Ugh. is a massive, massive problem in this country. Yes, it is. You don't really hear the politicians going after cocaine on a on a daily basis, but they're all over the TV today. These politicians with the the drink called cocaine. Because yeah. that's that's much scarier than the actual drug. Oh my God, the children! What if the children? <sighs> yeah, this is a beverage. It's called cocaine. Nice graphic on the can. Which, by the way, I now want to try. It looks like uh, it's drawn out in cocaine. It's the, it yeah. the logo looks like it was made by a guy that's just wired. Yeah. <laughs> He's it looks just... like you could snort the name <laughs> off the can. <laughs> I think that's what they were going for. Yeah. But They're you know what? For it. This is the the dopey politicians and and the media. I had no idea about cocaine, but they're telling me all about it. And guess what? I want to now try it. They will give things the best advertising they could ever wish for. And this uh, company, whatever's putting out cocaine, has to be loving the the coverage they're getting on this. Don't they realize that all they have to do is not talk about it and not show their dopey faces on TV? And, and but something like this, upset. something like this would probably just fade. Fade away. Fade away. A couple bars would be serving it. It'd be one of those things. Oh, you, know, you hear yeah. about the bar, or, you know, downtown that serves the cocaine thing? Cocaine and vodka. A lot of people are uh, digging on the cocaine and vodka, like the Red Bull. Mm -hmm. You know, Red Bull and vodka. Now they're getting the cans of cocaine and vodka. Red Bull's 
Thanks. I've tried it. It's just not tasty. People don't like Red Bull. Uh, some people. You don't drink it for don't the like taste. It. But I mean, I, I just could, I bothered my stomach. I didn't like it. Yeah, too much. Uh, it was awful. Caffeine in there. I, I drink a Red Bull to stay up late. You know, stuff like that. It's I'm, for I'm not. I'm not. I'm not sitting around a bar like sipping it like it's a nice cocktail. It's for people that want uh, poor man speedball. You get vodka in it. Uh, you want to stay up. Yeah. You don't want coffee because it's hot out. Something like that. You don't like the taste of coffee. That's what it's for. Um, this cocaine though comes out, and people are just livid. The, these these uh, politicians are livid that they c someone had the gall to put the name cocaine on a beverage that, by the way, doesn't have any cocaine in it. It's caffeine. It's got 280 milligrams of caffeine in it. Right. Um, they they are trying to say now. This is how I think they're going to spin this. But Oprah brought up a good point. Um, they're going to try to say that that much caffeine is dangerous. So that's how they're going to probably try to pull it off the market. Well, i got to tell you, uh, Newsday today, showing our beverages and ha how many milligrams of, uh, of cocaine. <laughs> of cocaine. <laughs> how many milligrams of uh, caffeine are in certain drinks, like uh, a Snapple. Snapple has 31.5 milligrams of uh, caffeine. No big deal, right? Yep. Coke, 34 milligrams. Pepsi, 38 Dr. Pepper, 41 milligrams. We're going up here, obviously. Mountain Dew. Get a nice buzz off of Mountain Dew, right? Do the Dew, they say. 55 milligrams of uh, caffeine. Red Bull. We were just talking about that. Mm -hmm. Only 80 uh, milligram, uh, milligrams of uh, caffeine. 80. 80. And then you get to cocaine, the new energy drink. Yep. 280 milligrams of caffeine. 280. So you're thinking now, oh, I'm thinking, okay, what they're going to try to do is say that that much caffeine in a beverage is uh, dangerous and we have to pull it from the market because it's too much uh, caffeine, and that's how we get rid of this cocaine beverage. But I didn't, I didn't hear what you just said because uh, they just showed Foley again on TV. I can't get enough of that guy. I can't get enough of that. I cannot get enough of that. He's just creepy. walking, and you just know he's a creep. A purple tie. <laughs> Thinking of lacrosse legs. You creep. We'll get into Foley in a little while. Yeah. Foley's a but naughty boy. You said something about 280 milligrams of caffeine. Yeah, and that's how they're going to try to shut it down, okay. I, th I think. or at least I said that earlier, but then you brought up uh, something that... Well, uh, this is where their argument just fails miserably. Uh, Starbucks coffee, 16 ounce. That's pretty much uh, what everyone drinks, Yep. And including junior high kids at this point. Yeah. 372 milligrams of caffeine. Wait, Way what, more. What's that? What's that? Uh, a cup of coffee, 16 ounce. Of what you're drinking right now? Are you drinking Starbucks. coffee today? Yes. Yeah, a 16 ounce uh, cup of coffee from Starbucks, 372 uh, milligrams of caffeine. So now if they outlawed cocaine based on uh, caffeine content, uh, they would have to outlaw Starbucks coffee. <laughs> But I like coffee. Oh, don't worry. I don't think they will. I need my But coffee. now how do you think they're going to go about this? A boycott? Who's going to boycott it? The people that uh, are are that they're marketing this to? The, uh, you know, 20-year-olds uh, like to go out, drink, mix it with some vodka. That's pretty much who's drinking this. It's not – I don't think kids are really, like, into – going to the store and buying this young uh, school uh, no, age the, children no nah, the kids will definitely buy the cocaine not a lot of them now there'll be a few honest to god man kids are drinking red bull like crazy this is the next step they'll definitely be drinking it well then as a parent if you don't like seeing uh, the word cocaine in your fridge smack your kid in the side of the head with the can and then tell him and his multicultural friends to come over and have some sunny d sunny d <laughs> Stupid Sunny D. A black face, a white face, an Asian face in the fridge. Sunny D for all. <laughs> I hate those goddamn commercials. Of course you do. Multicultural beverage of love. Uh, Care for some Sunny D, black friend? Sure do, Asian and white friend. <laughs> the mob blonde mom comes out and brings it. Yes. The cookies. Look, yes. You and your inferior friends can have a little Sunny D. <laughs> By the way, we, we, we've we just accepted that, uh, you know, the name Coke, Coca-Cola. Yeah, what about Coke? I think more people call cocaine Coke right. than they do cocaine when you're, when you're actually doing this stuff. You don't say, hey, do you have any cocaine? I guess it's I because... doing some Coke. I guess because we're not just shoving it in, you know... And, and the consumers' faces, where it says the word cocaine. Cocaine. And it's a, and and the logo's like lines of coke. I don't care. It's called coke. Why why aren't they going after that? Well, I would use hip used to have it in it. I would use hip terms when I was getting high. Like I'd say, hey, you got a bag of toot, <laughs> toot. Hey, 
You want to do a toot? Care for some nose candy? <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's say hi Play to... Play lacrosse today? Let's say hi to Steve in Delaware. Steve. Hey, I want A. Hey. Let's rock. Um, I'm a nurse that works in an emergency room. <laughs> 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 Male nurse. <laughs> Great What's, what, what is your job, sir? Do you smother the elderly? You're uh, gay or a murderer? <laughs> or both? Probably, <laughs> yeah, a little calm A, little calm B. But we get a flyer. <laughs> you wipe the asses of old people. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, I do. Change a bedpan, then take and that I, pillow and tightly wrap it around right. that old head. <laughs> I have bad news. <laughs> she died of a of disease that uh, strikes in the night. They yeah. just pass away, and their nose twists to the left yeah. and stays there. <laughs> and there's there's feathers all in their face and hair. <laughs> Doctor, you might want to check on room 272. That's right. <laughs> Just all creepy. Going. Her little old lady legs shake right. and two white shoes fall on the floor. <laughs> they, plunk. they look like the shoes Michael Caine had on at the end of Dress to Kill. <laughs> Is that what you're doing, sir? <laughs> No, um, uh, we actually just got a warning about this, uh, that drink working its way. Uh, excuse know, uh, me, the doctor's got the warning. Uh, Not yeah. the male nurses. Not the male nurses. Absolutely <laughs> right. But who keeps the doctors in line? It is the male nurses. <laughs> is well, it? We get, we get war warning. Doc, you might want to check on Margaret. <laughs> <laughs> do you dress like a doctor? Do people think you're a doctor? Do you walk around with a stethoscope? <laughs> and, a, and, a and then you see a doctor too. coming and you quickly hide it. <laughs> you should have to wear that white hat with the red X in the front. <laughs> 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 That's right. And that white skirt that Florence Nightingale used to wear. Right. Why should the male nurses be allowed to dress like doctors when the female nurses have to dress like nurses? Doctor, you might want to check on Gertrude. She's not waking up. <laughs> the, the, the male nurses put on scrubs like they're going to be doing surgery. Meanwhile, the only thing you're scrubbing is wrinkled old doily butt. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and man junk. <laughs> Give that man junk a good scrubbing. Oh, You're a hospital you maid. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I understand why you gotta smother some of them. Oh, this guy don't stop every day, twice a day. He's messing himself. Every day, Betty complains her soup is cold. Well, it's not anymore, is it, Betty? It's not. It's not cold in heaven. It's not cold in heaven, Mary. <laughs> Two angry male nurse hands holding down the pillow. And I have big hairy Doc, you might want to so check on Betty. Hand. <laughs> That's music to your ears, isn't it, son? <laughs> <laughs> Let me check Betty. Uh-oh. Code blue face. Code blue face. Yeah. Her hands are up in the defensive position. <laughs> and tilted to the left. Yeah, how do you fix that if they're fighting you off and die that way? <laughs> Crank the arms back down. I noticed he had scratches on his arms and oh, face. She must have died knitting. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, if a doctor yeah. wants to call in and give us something, then that would be terrific. Right, That's right. Yeah, Good. sorry. I Goodbye, male to... nurse. Thank Goodbye. you. Goodbye. Anyway. Jeremy in Cleveland. Goodbye, gender neutral language. <laughs> hey, good morning, guys. I Hi, just sir. To acknowledge Opie's line. Um, you, ha -ha, you wipe the asses of old people. That was priceless, Opie. <laughs> That's all he does. Nomination, sir. Uh, thank you. I, I don't know if it made it through on this side of the show, but uh, the XMers heard it. Well, that's uh, all that matters, man. Punching out. All right. Thank you, Jeremy. Tried cocaine drink. It burns. Uh, Mike in Westchester. What's up? Oh, what's up, man? Hey, hey Mike. What's up, man? Uh, a guy at my job uh, got the cases already, and when you actually drink it, it actually burns your throat. It took me two days to finish this thing. One can. Yeah, I don't know. It's probably a horrible beverage. Yeah, the drink yeah. probably stinks. Yeah. But, it's a gimmick. But they know how to market it because yeah. we're all talking about it today. And it's meant as a mixer, I believe. It's really, really strong. All right, sir. Thank you. Hey, let's go to James. James, what's up? 
and the, and, and, black wait, hold, and the, and for the girls to smoke their little candy cigarettes, and then it would come with a little candy baby with like a tumor on it. Something wrong with it. <laughs> oh, look, a little deformed candy baby. And you could eat it all. That's right. Let's punch it and watch sugar flow off. <laughs> uh, James, what's up? Hey, guys. Yeah, this whole cocaine thing is ridiculous. You know, are they going to stop selling pots because that shares the name of the drug? Oh, what? What? Pots? Well, I'm oh, not yeah. sure what you mean, like sir. Like pots that... and pans? <laughs> yeah. Do you mean like a product name? Uh, Food! <laughs> that was... Food, all right. You know, James, um, Norton's going to be um, leaving to play West Palm Beach, and we're thinking... Hmm. I should be under the wheels of that plane? <laughs> <laughs> okay, now that's funny. Oh, well, now I'm thinking he should uh, uh, step in for Jim one day. That's right. When those wheels come down to land in West Palm, your frozen carcass should fall out. <laughs> All right, cocaine the drink. Here's the here's the official news story. We were talking about this uh, just before the break. Cocaine for sure. Right now, a lot of places don't even sell it in the city, but here at Manahatas, you can have. You see what the news is doing he here? He just told you where to get it, kids. You see what the news is doing here? This product, uh, basically, it sounds like it stinks. Yeah. And, and that the name is cool. Mm. Or it's saying cocaine is cool, Opie. The name is cool. Yeah, it's, it's an attention cool. getter. People like but it sounds that, like yeah. the product itself sucks. Or or uh, establishments all over New York City would have been serving this by now. Yeah. But now we're all finding out about it. How long has it been on the market? I never heard of it until like today. Uh, it's been. I heard about it a couple. Twenty seven years there, Jim. Twenty seven. Oh years. no, that's not the they truth. Finally, no. That's a bunk. Oh, a couple research. years ago, maybe. A couple uh, weeks ago. Right now, a lot of places don't even sell it in the city, but here at Manahatas, you can have your cocaine right on the bar. Can you? Vodka. There you go. Serve with a straw. And there sits the most controversial, if not hottest, new drink in Manhattan. It's called cocaine. It's you... got a serious kick to it. I think Jimmy's People beverage really is more controversial. No wonder cocaine to drink doesn't actually have cocaine in it, but is loaded with 280 milligrams of caffeine and sugar, promising a serious rush. Red Bull on drugs, on steroids. This has definitely got a lot of kick to it. City lawmakers not getting a kick out of it. But they failed to mention that uh, coffee still has more milligrams of caffeine. Yeah, a lot more. And a lot of people like to mix their, their coffee drinks with a nice shot or two of alcohol. Yeah. But they're not going to mention that because then it's not as, as impressive, the story. On steroids. This has definitely got a lot of kick to it. City lawmakers not getting a kick out of it think the high-energy cocaine drink sends the wrong message. Message. Have you lost... All, all right, here, here it comes. I want to pause right, right. here. Here he comes. Right Hold on. Right Hold here. on to your your seat. Grab something. Uh, if you're standing up and can't sit, grab onto a beam or something <laughs> right. so you don't just topple over at this oh, guy's yeah. analogy. We don't know who this guy is. We're not sure if he's a local politician or or someone that just represents the neighborhood. Represent. <laughs> I don't know. But he might have thought things out a little bit. But I know one thing. He's an opportunist. Yeah. And he he knew how to get his face on TV. City councilman. Of of course, another <laughs> councilman. You're a councilman. dog catcher. <laughs> dog catcher. <laughs> what the hell is a city councilman? What do the they John do? Lewis what do they really do? They're worthless. They do nothing. They complain and they belly yeah. about what they can't. Get. Whiners. I'm a city whiner. Wah. <laughs> Wah, cocaine. Wah, we're not getting enough money. They make a lot of noise, but they have to wait for their superiors to actually do all the heavy lifting. Oh, yeah, lifting. They, they do nothing. <laughs> they, they do nothing. They go and go, excuse me, sir, there's a couple of people I represent down this block. Right. And they're saying that they need, shut up. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I'll come back later. They put their signs on a front lawn. That's how you get yeah. elected when you're a councilman. Yeah, that's their advertising. Yeah. On a front lawn. Vote for me. Well, here we go. Here's the city councilman. I'm a good egg. Here's the city councilman. It's the wrong message. Have you lost all shame? Is there nothing you won't stoop to? What will you market next? Uh -oh. Pedophile peanut butter? How about gang rape grape juice? How about genocide jelly? <laughs> okay. Wait, he forgot my the one that I've been working on, which is a new liquor drink called Jigaboos. <laughs> <laughs> and 
and go. Oh, my God. Pedophile peanut butter. Pedophile peanut butter. <laughs> <laughs> he's taking it seriously like he's, oh. he's, like he's doing an MLK speech. <laughs> Pedophile peanut butter. How about cigarettes aimed at our youth called nicotine? <laughs> 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 Pedophile peanut butter. Of course, there's no chunky. It's all smooth. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta hear that again. Oh. The last part. This this guy's out of his freaking. Uh, what was skull. genocide jelly? I, I'm not sure. I want to hear all of them. It was uh, pedophile peanut I butter. It. It and he was... says it with such a like he's being so dramatic, like a little right. pause, and then oh they're gonna love this one. Oh they're gonna love this one. Let me write another one. All the kids will go to school and order some a peanut butter and tears sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have a peanut butter and shattered dream sandwich, please? <laughs> what if boss writes for this guy? <laughs> Someone on their Who's a pedophile peanut butter gag. Someone from their cell phone above 114th Street. They, uh, well, this is the product. Sickle cell shakes are sound like, <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> and then they got uh, Mike from Jersey. How about herpes lip balm? Uh, Bill from Waterford. Cross-burning cider. And Bird from Philly. I want some board up. What? Billions? Oh, board up billions. Mm, that was not. That, uh, that was. Uh, just hurtful. Yeah. That was That's hard. just hurtful. <laughs> Let's go to Ryan in Smithtown. Ryan. Hey, I got the uh, mask up for that game, rape, uh, Grape Soda. Yeah. It's the Grapist. <laughs> <laughs> the Grapist. Oh, that's pretty good. Grapist. All right, here's the... It's the Grapist. Here's the count. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> the ga it's just a D... It's a G dash with rape. Rape, yeah. Yeah, gee, rape. Grape. I don't know why I had to spell that out in order. <laughs> Let's go to Nick in Wisconsin. Nick. How about some swoogie champagne? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to Scott in Massachusetts. Scott. Hey, Norton said the best one, the uh, chunky. It's Of course it's smooth and not chunky. Of course. And if you would have said it like he did, maybe it would have been funny. Thank you, sir. Crush me, crush me, crush me. No, no, no. You put no. the punchline first, which is always good, and then you kind of fill in the blanks. Right. The That's always I'm... the way a good joke comes <laughs> off. They own it. Well, the Jews came, and then they walked in the bar <laughs> because they were part owners. Actually. It was a horse. I so long in the face. An empty boat. Well, you see, what was the best thing that ever... <laughs> <laughs> all right, here we go. Here's the councilman again. Cause, uh, all right, we got pedophile peanut butter. Right. Genocide juice. A jelly, I think. Genocide a jelly. jelly. What the hell is that? I don't know. This is dope. <laughs> <laughs> He's just a dope. What an idiot. <laughs> Sends the wrong message. Have you lost all shame? Is there nothing you won't stoop to? What will you market next? Pedophile peanut butter? <laughs> How about gang rape grape juice? Gang rape. How about genocide jelly? Gang yeah, rape. He, he, see, he's, rule, he's got a rule, though. He's yep. got a rule. It's got to be the same sound yes. for the crime as the beginning of whatever product. Like, this guy is really acting like a nitpicky... Wait. <laughs> oh, that would be nitwit. Yeah. Nitpicky nitwit mm -hmm. is what uh, Jimmy would... <laughs> Holy Jesus, Palomino. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh! You're gonna market candy towards our black moose youth? Uh, oh, you know, oh. Black, <laughs> our black moose! You gonna call it Kundi? <laughs> oh yeah, we got one wow. on. Uh, <laughs> Jesus. On wow. Hal Dog. <laughs> Holocaust hummus. <laughs> Oof. Yeah, people, it's very hard to get over the uh, oh my God, I can't. genocide jelly. <laughs> this could be the line of the year if he does it right. Let's right. say hi to John the Trucker. John. Hey, fellas. Hey. Hey, you got your monkey peanut butter, uh, oh. your genocide jelly. Oh, wow. Oh, <laughs> wow. He really went off script. <laughs> you went off script. Hey, oh. he, what he, happened he, to... He had something written down and it was almost good. What happened to, hey, you got your monkey chocolate and my pedophile peanut butter? It's it's five o'clock in the morning and I'm in the Midwest. I just woke up, kids. <laughs> All right. All right, John. You had a great line though. <laughs> I know it. All right. Have a good day. Right, punch it out. Yeah. Bye. More on the uh the cocaine drink. They don't know what to do. I want some pedophile peanut butter. <laughs> 
All right, hold on. It's endorsed by a certain congressman. <laughs> <laughs> certainly is. Loves to spread it on. Never Some bread. Some on the council want to crack down on cocaine sales. Ban it. New York City bars. Personally, I think that it's a bad promotion to just have a name like that. Why? But... It's even so, um, I don't think the city or any government should intervene. We're in the United States. Oh. You know, it's freedom. It's, it's, it's a harmless... <laughs> freedom. You really think you're free in America? You dope. Perception. It's so stupid. Will you stop with we're free in America? United States. You know, it's freedom. It's, it's, it's a harmless thing. It's a, it's a, it's a piece to talk about. Um, I think that's absurd. Absolutely absurd. Well, right now it's unclear what the city will ultimately do about cocaine. As far as the taste, some people say they love it. Some people say they hate it. I can tell you for sure it has a little bit of a burn. Oh, he drank some. Good. Yeah. That's good. He um, should be doing the real cocaine because yeah. he's a fatty. The looks of him. Jesus. He could, uh, he, he could lose a few. Uh, Not that guy. That guy just went off. Oh, Marky boy went to rehab, huh? You know he was thinking about, he thought about it all night. What could I come up with? What could I come up with? Crepes, crepe jelly, gang rape, gang rape. <laughs> gang rape. Gang rape. Uh, Grapes, a pedophile, see. peanut butter, let's pedophile, see. peanut, pedophile's a pea. I need something with a pea. Pedophile, pistachios, no, that's <laughs> not good. Pedophile. <laughs> Pedophile, fluffernutter, <laughs> peanut butter, oh, wait, peanut butter, that's pee good. Thing. <sighs> what an ass. What a horse's ass. But all I'm going to tell you, that there's nothing I would like to have more than some pedophile peanut butter. See it all over the um, shelves of the supermarkets? Sure. Let's go to Pinchy. Pinchy, what's up? Hey, got one for Ant. Final solution, french fries. Yeah, I don't know if this bit's going to work. No, it doesn't really work in, yeah. unless... I don't think I know. This just I don't know. Didn't work when the guy did it. <laughs> it was funny because it doesn't work. Right. That's make, uh, yeah. you're 100 percent right there. There you go. Um, yeah. That's uh, that's <laughs> no. Don't. <laughs> I'm looking at uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken. <laughs> you guys. It's better than my uh, Kundi line. I'll talk. Kentucky Fried Chicken. Uh, that doesn't even make sense. What? We're Other hoping this bit's going to take off, in. but... No. no. We're still on the runway. No. This uh, this bit tried to take off on the short, dark runway and hit a farmhouse. Not even. We're just... The uh, investigation is in progress. We're on the runway. We're waiting. We're waiting. I don't think so. Every think phone line have to is go back to the to um, Back to the terminal. This plane has mechanical difficulties. <laughs> Slavery, uh, salsa. All right. That's almost funny. Um, <laughs> Slavery salsa, sodomy soda. Mm. Mm, no, all right. It's good with the can. Could work in the can somehow. What? Just in sodomy soda. Like the old catchphrase and slogan could be something with the can. Oh yeah. <laughs> 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 I said like it three it. times. I like that. <laughs> Yeah, I, actually, I, I do like that. In a can. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, I, I couldn't be happier than this guy getting busted. All right. Who? Oh, I know. It's Foley. I can't be happier today. Yeah. Well, Foley is just, he's just terrific. Yeah, we ought to... Uh, oh, he's in deep trouble. Go through uh, a couple of his... Well, what's this Mark Foley and John Walsh from America's Most Wanted? Uh-oh. What was this about? I'm sure they're not the best of friends anymore. Is this old audio? Yeah. We got Than coming to the mic. Yes, Than. I love the old audio of a hypocrite. Where did we find this? Uh, this is on YouTube. Uh, Danny brought it in, so he might be able to describe it better, but I think it's an old... Here he comes. <laughs> By the way, again, I just have to point out and always, always tip my hat to Than. I, 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 not sure. Something comes in. Always willing to pass the buck a little. This is Danny. Hold on. I'm going to use this phone call to segue into Mark Foley, okay? All right. Uh, Eric in Princeton. That's right. You've got your uh, you've got your Foley fudge in my pedophile peanut butter. <laughs> there's, That's there's, the oh. joke. Now we can move on to Mark Foley. Thanks, Eric. So what's this audio, Danny? It's a clip of Foley talking to John Walsh on America's Most Wanted about passing some bill 
of uh, registered uh, sex offenders. Mm. It just gets a little uh, ironic towards the end. Isn't it ironic? Don't you think? So this is old audio? Yeah, I'm not sure how old, but it's, it's old. All right. We track library books better than we track pedophiles and kids that are missing. We've got to force states to incorporate technology, share information, because we can't take another loss of life of a child. Absolutely. I believe that every convicted felon should be mandated nationwide to give his DNA. It solves crimes, it gets innocent people out of prison, and it will it will eliminate the ability of these people to roam state to state in this country and rape people. From my view, when you rape a person, when you violate a child, you lose your civil liberties. <laughs> Anybody that says we shouldn't take DNA samples, absolutely wrong. You commit the crime, you will supply the sample, and we'll be able to track and hopefully solve a lot of crimes. Well, good luck with your piece Thanks. of legislation, because you're you right, it, it will put some teeth into these registries. Well, if I were one of these sickos, I'd be nervous with America's Most Wanted on my trail. Well, I wish yeah, I could what, catch what all of them. Oh, <laughs> if I were one of these sickos. Hey, you are. Oh. If I was one of these, did you see hear how nervous he sounded? That was his inner that? thoughts coming out. Like yeah. I can't believe I'm saying this. I'm gonna, like, I'm gonna. Oh my God! Well, oh, they're gonna get me. <laughs> right. Oh my God! America's most wanted is gonna gonna find me. And he put himself in rehab now, like it was alcohol. Oh, it's the same thing that uh, what's his name did from uh, Entertainment Tonight or whatever that. Uh, oh, Pat, Pat O'Brien. Pat O'Brien did it. Mel Gibson did it when he went off. They At all least claim he was legitimately drunk when he got pulled over. Yeah, but they all it's 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 just oh my god, it was the alcohol. If it wasn't for the alcohol, the... I wouldn't have been IMing this kid. You know something? Shut up. I, I I've never I've never had a few drinks and thought, well, let me get into a sexually explicit uh, email <laughs> conversation with a young boy. I know. I don't need any booze. Absolutely. <laughs> Sober's better because you don't make spelling mistakes. Give me those ribs, you. LOL. Oh, Jimmy. <laughs> Always poke too hard. We have some more... Uh, yeah, we certainly do. Really sexy dialogue between these two. <laughs> well, I don't do know we... what to start with. The page or the stapled page? Do we start with... The, what about this? Talking about the nude camps. Oh, that's a good one, too. It's all the same story. Story, so which one you want to do? We could just we could just dive in anywhere we want. We got the latest audio where he's blaming booze. Uh, let's hear uh, how he's blaming booze. I think you want to start with yeah, that. Yeah, I'd All like right. to hear his voice. It gets a little more of his personality into it. All right, here's the latest on Mark Foley. The best way I can describe how Mark is doing is that he is completely devastated by letting his community, his family, his political party his constituents and his country down. He was extremely depressed, but his concern is not for himself. Of course not. His concern is for the damage that his actions have caused to others. Concern. Just kill his, yourself. Shut up. You got caught. His Just concern kill yourself. is for what's on his hard drive yeah. <laughs> that the FBI is going through right now. His wife always wondered why whenever his computer turned on, it would play ba 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 hey da 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 A couple of Who songs. <laughs> <laughs> He's got his computer down to itty bitty parts by now. Oh, he's just <laughs> no part bigger than a speck of rice. He's got hammers and saws and magnets. Oh, honey, destroy the computer. <laughs> Can we please do this one here? Which yeah. one? Yeah, yeah, we go. Close. Wait, let's get back. All right, this is the rest of the yeah. attorney speaking. Love that just one. bunch of horse crap. He is absolutely positively not a pedophile. He is apologetic for the communications that he made while under the influence of alcohol, which he acknowledges are totally inappropriate and are not the product of the Mark Foley, the sober and healthy Mark Foley, but are the product of someone under the influence of alcohol and suffering from mental illness. Oh, well, if, if, if again, let's bring this back to how we started this show. If alcohol is this detrimental and makes people do things that are this dangerous, why isn't it uh, illegal? Yes, they didn't say Mark was uh, internet gambling, and then all of a sudden he talked to a young boy inappropriately. Right, right. Drunk, so why not go after booze? Yeah. Why doesn't uh, the President Bush uh, sign something about uh, that? Right. He's had his own problems with booze. He knows how bad and dangerous it is. My God. Bush is an ass. 
I'd like to grab his lapels. Really? All, ooh, shake him. What is more... Hey, you. What is more dangerous to the kids, though? Is it uh, violent video games, online gambling, mm. or booze and drugs? I'd say... Uh, yeah. Uh, None. It's representative Foley. Representative Foley. In a pair it's of sweats. Math 54. <laughs> <laughs> but let's see the politicians go uh, after the, uh, the, the booze. They'd be insane to do that. Let's get right back into our favorite congressman. Well, oh, get back into him, talking about him. <laughs> <Yeah>. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Well, well in, in light of certain events and stuff, I thought the meaning was, well, you understand. Very good, Anthony. You're the quick one. Ah, uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> it's the Opie and Anthony show, the ONA virus spreading across America. So the dude is uh, blaming alcohol at this point, right? Yeah. You know, you got it at that point. Uh, you could do horrific things in America as long as you got uh, the alcohol to fall back on. Blame say. the booze, go into rehab, you come out, hope everything's hunky-dory. And for the most part, you get a second chance. Mm -hmm. If you go through the rehab and then show everyone that you're better now. Pat O'Brien's fine now. Oh, I know. He's back on uh, one of those entertainment shows. I can never remember which one. The Insider. The Insider. Is that the one he's on? Yeah, I watch every night, actually. And, uh, yeah, he's back on there. There's no... No repercussions, no nothing. He's doing the same shtick he did for years, and that's it. Mm -hmm. He's fine. He, he made it through that. Oof. And this guy is making people uncomfortable he's talking to online. It's amazing. Oh, yeah, you can see that the guy is is. I'm a pervert online, but this guy is obviously making people really uncomfortable. Yep. How, how imperceptive is this dope that no one's enjoying his chat? All right, well, here's more audio. Mm. Mark is an alcoholic. Uh. He drank in secret. He did not drink in public. He had two lies with regard to his... Why, do you think he doesn't even drink? The and, guy and doesn't went... drink, and they went the alcohol route. That's what I am thinking yeah. here. Do you think, yeah, he went to his attorney's office and like, you gotta, you gotta help me. This is my whole career going down the toilet here. Like, he never had a drink out in public. He went, you know, all these, all these congressmen go to these meetings, parties, things, and he's just kind of sitting there, what, sipping a little club soda, yeah, a little teetotaling. Well, they got to blame it on something. Guess it what else he drank in private? <laughs> 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 Old bleach breath. <laughs> uh, Mark is an alcoholic. I'll have the Mitch he daiquiri. <laughs> Mark is an alcoholic. He drank in secret. He did not drink in public. He had two lives with regard to his alcohol consumption. In public and in public service, he was sober. When he was alone, he was not sober. What I can tell you is that based on all the information that I have, Mark Foley has never, ever had an inappropriate sexual contact with a minor in his life. Here's scumbag lawyer protecting himself based on yeah. all the information I have. Yeah, yeah, here it is. He's here. not even, you know, believing his client. Here's totally. my disclaimer. Right. Yeah, based so on I all can... the information I have, why yeah. not just make it a statement, you scumbag? Yeah, he's paying me very well, so I have to say this, but based I got to cover my own ass. The information I have, which is the information this pervert gave me. Right. And that's yeah. all the information I have. He sent it to me in an instant message with a photo of his genitals. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this Foley gets really fired up quick. CC to a middle school. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, he's take. a naughty one. The recent tragic events that tragic. led to Mark's recognition that he is ill and that his alcoholism and mental illness are beyond his control reached a crisis point on Friday. Uh, we have yeah, tried Friday. to respond to that crisis and... As you all know, uh, at this point, Mark has been admitted into an alcoholism, substance abuse, and mental health facility as an inpatient, and we anticipate that he will be there a minimum of 30 days and possibly, if not probably, longer. If he wants, I can get him out. I know the tricks. <laughs> I know the tricks of the trade. What mental illness, though? How, how, how is he crazy? I, I don't know what happened. I, I, I saw a penis. I mistook it for a Pez candy dispenser. <laughs> 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 they can't go this route on this one. It's not going to work like it does with entertainers. 
where they can go into a rehab thing, say it was alcoholism. The guy apparently wasn't drinking outside of his house. What? He'd go home, plunk the bottle down, start drinking, go online and have these inappropriate conversations with uh, teenage these boys. teenage boys. Who, by the way, he also had physical contact with at the workplace. Yeah. It wasn't like these were random people uh, on the Internet that he never then visited or, you know, drove up to that house with the Dateline guy, uh, that kind of situation. He knew these people through work. He spoke with them face to face. He had private time with them. I would gather if they were his page, uh, they, they uh, take messages, they, they uh, run errands. So he is having physical uh, contact. He is within this guy's realm of uh, of space, you know, to reach out and touch. Uh, how how is this alcohol bull crap going to? Uh, it's not going to fly with this guy. Mark is contrite, remorseful, I mean, and devastated by the harm that his actions. Yeah, <laughs> contrite. Mark is contrite. Contrite. Devastated. Horny. Horny. <laughs> lonely. I mean, uh... uh, uh. Well, at the beginning in, uh, with his 1993 sponsorship of a measure of the Florida State Legislature to seize the cars of men who solicit prostitutes, former restaurant owner and real estate agent Mark Foley repeatedly attracted a flattering political spotlight by uh, inveighing... Uh, against those involved in sexual crimes and presenting himself as a pros uh, protector of exploited children. Foley as chairman of the Missing and Exploited Children's Caucus had introduced legislation in July to protect children from exploitation by adults over the Internet. He also sponsored other legislation designed to protect minors from abuse and neglect. He just wanted to knock down his competition. Right. <laughs> he wanted to, Get out of here. He was doing all that to increase his odds. Leave my boys alone. Right. And, and since he wanted... More for me. <laughs> <laughs> he wanted cars taken for prostitution. Uh, yeah. Because that's what, okay, well, how about we take your house? Because that's where you were sometimes when you when you made these uh, inappropriate conversations. Should this he lose his home? son of a bitch should be run through every single law that he tried tried to or had passed he should be run through every single one of them he's a predator an online predator and he should be treated just like the ones you see on uh the dateline specials brought in jail booked photographed his life destroyed the whole deal another dirtbag moralist conservative oh it makes me yeah makes moral me sick. your morality let's go to west palm gary hey good morning Owen. Eh? good morning Hello, gary I don't know about you gentlemen, but uh, I'm, a, I'm about 38 years old, and I've been getting hammered, you know, almost all my life. And I've never uh, got that hammered where I needed to uh, email someone and ask them for a job and, and, and things such like that. How about right. you guys? He cleaned it up for the radio, yeah. He's been uh, drinking yeah. his whole life, and he's never gone online and asked a, a little boy for a uh, blank job. Yes. <laughs> never. Never. Yeah, there you I, go. I don't know. I've just never been that drunk to uh, start e emailing little boys. Well, so, uh, speak for yourself, because sometimes you just come out of a blackout, and there you are chit-chatting with little Frank, too. <laughs> yeah. I, I knew they were going to throw this spin on him with the alcohol crap. I just knew it was coming, man. It's, it's like everybody else has got to, you know. Oh, hey, yeah. dude, now, yeah. I'm actually coming to West Palm this week. Oh. I'm really psyched that all this attention is being focused on Mr. Foley. Can't wait to chat oh, about him. Yeah, oh, yeah. Talk a, about him. He's a dirty boy. He's a silly goose. Oh, old dirty Mark. Sure we know about him. <laughs> Filthy Mark. Creepy old Mr. Foley. Jim Norton, you're going to be in West Palm Beach? Yeah, I leave Thursday. Improv? Yeah. Very cool. He was a restaurant owner. Yeah. Yes. What a guy. I All bet right. he loved to hire those young waiters. Give him a nice cannoli on the cheek. Oh. All right, Mark Foley. Just served sausage. He's <laughs> devastated. Let's see what else he is here, okay? Mark is contrite. Contrite. Remorseful. Remorseful. And devastated and by the harm that his actions have caused to others. And has taken and takes full responsibility wow, for those actions. Guy. He blames no one but himself. I hope not. Who should? I hope and pray that we all remember the dedicated public servant that Mark Foley has been uh, over his entire adult uh, lifetime. And his contribution to his community and his country. The lawyer, man. You hear him? He's devastated. You know he practiced this in front of a mirror in his lawyer's office. Yeah. He's devastated, <laughs> right. dude. You know he's a career's gun, dude. You think you, you know he's got to go in front of the press, so he's probably in his office in front of a mirror going, he's devastated. <coughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. Take two. 
He's dev. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, get it, devastated. Just to get it right, mm. I got to talk monotone to show that Mark Foley is devastated by this. Uh, and then he goes, I hope and pray. Do you really pray? He's you praying, really praying for him. You pray yeah. for like what? Maybe say the families and the whole Amish thing and you pray for what? Terror victims and, yeah. and that we remember that he was a public servant. Those are the three things you you toss into your prayers, stupid. I hope and pray that the check clears. All right. Ah, there you <laughs> go. Yeah. Hallelujah. <laughs> It's all the lawyers care about. Hail They're Mary, like, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit. Mark Foley. Wait, no, no. That's not right. <laughs> blessed are oh, the fruit of the looms of 16-year-old. Oh, wait a minute. You know what the lawyers are all about? That phone call comes in. Um, uh, uh, sir, Mark Foley's on the line. Are you not biting oh. your hand and jumping up and down before you take the call? Like, oh, my God. Here it comes. Me. Payday. Payday. That's Payday. what he's thinking. And and it's a typical statement. Okay, uh, Mark, sit down. Let's uh, go over this. What did you do? What did you get all the info? Okay, the first thing we got to do now is put out a statement. Right. Um, do you drink? N no. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna go with the drinking angle here, though. Uh, you've never been seen drinking in public. No, I don't drink. Okay, all right. You drink in the privacy of. Have you ever ever had a drink in your home? Wink, wink. You know what I'm saying. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, I have. Okay, all right. Then you're drinking at home, you're in front of the computer. Perhaps maybe your judgment is a little clouded. You... That's how lawyers work. I can't say it, but <laughs> you know what I'm getting at here. All right. Yes. We got a transcript for today? We do. These are coming in like crazy, huh? We got a lot of them now. And like it's what I like. Cakes. It's a, it's a, it's a shorts tenter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you want to start with the um, with the, the, this one, Jimmy? Yeah, there's a couple of different. Sh which one do you want to do, Sweetie Pie? This one? Yeah, I guess we first can do single sheet, sure. Yeah, there's a couple of different chats. It looks like on the same paper, they took ec excerpts from a couple of different inappropriate moments of chats. Mm. Okay. Makes it, that makes it all the sexier, sure doesn't it? Sure, it does. Who's playing who today? Holy. I want to be the lad. Uh, yes, Jimmy will again be playing the lad. I'll play the part of Mr. Foley, Math 54. And I'm a bunch of exes. You're just exes protect because... my identity. Hey, where's my script? I, I like you're a child. Right. You could be our narrator. You're a long-suffering narrator. Thank you, sir. Long-suffering narrator. All right, let's go. Okay, let me see. Hold on. Yeah, okay, that's working, <laughs> just in case. You never know. <laughs> uh, oh, I start this one off at 8.03... And 47 seconds p.m., I ask, what are you wearing? That's the first thing you write. That's it. <laughs> what are you wearing? Normal clothes. T-shirts and shorts. Love to slip them off you. In your shorts and polo shirt? No. Athletic shorts and T-shirt. Had soccer practice today. Mmm, nice. <laughs> Jock strap too? Not in soccer. <laughs> of course, if you weren't listening yesterday, uh, Jim is playing the, uh, he's acting out the LOL. Yeah, LOL. LOL. Ah. <laughs> LOL. Laugh out loud. Ah. Uh, what you wear then? Just our boxers and shorts. Good. <laughs> and then, uh. I don't know. I guess maybe uh, the UPS guy or the Federal Express guy or somebody came to the kid's house uh, because uh, now the uh, congressman is asking, shows your package then? Yeah. Slow things down a little. I'm still young. Like under 18. Don't want to do anything illegal. I'm not 18 till Feb 23. I know. Nothing will happen. Just dreaming. You're, you're horny, though. <laughs> well, yeah, a bit. But I'm still a virgin. You're in your boxers, too? Nope, just got home. We'll strip down and get relaxed. Now, how and does he... And scene. Let me, here's a word of advice for any internet perverts. If you're ever talking dirty to someone online, 
and they say I'm still young, like under 18, don't yeah. want to do anything illegal. Illegal. Run, Forrest, run! They're not turned on. Yeah, they're not turned on. Um, they're not uh, wanting you. Or interested. Well, look, when I'm turned interested. on, I don't fire out statutes. Yeah. It's uh, against the law, you know. I'd prefer not to. What if there was the police looking? Knocking down mailboxes, driving through people's backyards. <laughs> Had a girl in the car. That's a man act. It showed off a package. That's a man act. That's a man act. I happen to have my young son in the car. <laughs> Could you put him on the phone? <laughs> Let's say hi to Dean. You looked Philly. a lot younger on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to Dean in Philly. Dean. Oh, hey, what's going on? Hey. Hey, I don't know about you guys. I haven't seen the transcript, but when I'm smashing, I'm at my computer. I can't even hit the right keys, let alone try to have a conversation on the computer. Well, there are some misspellings, but not not like intoxicated misspellings. These look like worked up into a lather. Yeah, uh, misspellings. Yeah, this is like you're you're you you just you, you can't hit the button fast enough. Yeah, you're, 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 or you can only type right. You have like one hand you're working. on. Yeah, you're probably one handed typing. Yeah, try, try typing lefty. You're gonna hit Ugh. a few wrong keys. You're just losing focus. Yeah. <laughs> can't really see the keys that well. <laughs> All right, you guys suck. All right, let's say hi to Dave. Wants to defend the guy, Dave. Well, that's what I was going to say. You know that the uh, you said that the transcripts was uh, were uh, misspelled and everything else. So I was going to say he could use that as a defense that he really was no, drunk. No. Anyone in a chat room that doesn't misspell uh, a lot of stuff, right? Just happens in chat yeah. rooms. You just oh, we got an alcoholic that's offended. Uh, Sharice in oh, Florida. Jesus, Sharice. I bet she's offended that this guy's using the excuse. Is it a guy? Sharice. Yes, I'm here. Oh. Hi, Sharice. Hi, Sharice. Hi. Well, what's what's um your your think, issue? Well, there's you know I don't know if you know this, but down here in West Palm Beach, there's a huge recovery community. So, you know, there's tons of rehab. He might even be in a rehab down here. Most likely, they ship them out of state to get him out of out of sight. But this is like called recovery recovery capital of the world. And there's a lot of people that are trying to change their life from alcohol and drugs. And I work in that field. And I really, you know, it offends me that he's used hiding behind the alcoholism cloak that so many people do, saying it was all because he was drunk. That's bullshit. My cloak of alcoholism. Why? The cloak of alcoholism. <laughs> it's just, it's, too damaged, too damaged. <laughs> can't get through my cloak. <laughs> Plus, it removes like, the, well, the excuse. Oh, you talk. Uh, you Why talk. would I chime right. in? Go ahead. It's all about you. Sorry, I didn't mean to chime into the Cherise show. Go right ahead, Cherise. It's just... It's just ridiculous that he's, you know, hiding behind this, and, um, well, you know, there's, it's just wrong. You know and something, I'm Charisse? I'm a lot of people yeah, that are in Well, or not. Here. Yeah, no, why not? <laughs> you must be a really good counselor. Well, I'm kind of feeling, well, here. <laughs> <laughs> but, I, you know, I'm really kind of sad now. <laughs> so I hope your guest uses this full force in his comedy routine. Um, Life yes. and young boys aren't I, well, too wait, pretty. Wait, I'm not, I'm not a guest. Oh, I thought you had a comic on on the show. Oh, oh, I am, but I'm not a guest. I'm more I'm more of what you'd call. I have my fingernails dug into two coattails. Oh, really? Oh, <laughs> I'm yeah, more of a drag good. victim. <laughs> <laughs> Indirect nepotism, huh? Hey, Sharice, were you what? more exciting when you were drinking? What? Um, I I think I was more of an asshole when I was drinking. Yeah, you know. No, actually, I was one of those drunks that got depressed and pitiful. Wait, but but. What do you, I I don't know what you mean. What is indirect nepotism? Indirect oh, well, nepotism. If he's, high, if he's hanging up. onto your coattails, is he relative? Shut up. All right, thank you. Uh, thank sure. you. Yeah, thank yeah. thank you're an you for your call. To all people trying yes. to get sober. What oh else we got here? God. You too can lose your funny bone in rehab. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Sorry, but we'll have to folks. remove her funny bone. I want to stop drinking. Well, then get all that excitement out of your voice. <laughs> no more fun for you. Uh, yeah, we got a little more uh, of uh, an exchange, and this one shows really uh, kind of how uncomfortable the um, the young boy is getting. We well, have to read the lead up too, because this this yeah. this Mark Foley just doesn't give up. Emails show Foley sought to rendezvous with Page with one of the pages. In addition to explicit uh, sexual language, former Congressman Mark Foley's internet messages uh, also include repeated efforts to get the underage recipient to rendezvous with him at night. I would drive a few miles for a hot stud like you, Foley said in one message Who obtained says, by ABC News. Yeah. Who says hot stud? Hot stud, an old, an old pedophile says that. And, and it's the alcohol stud. that made him say stud. that. Hot stud, you got nice buns. <laughs> oh, great. He's getting his dialogue from the Golden Girls. <laughs> You're Ugh. really 
buff. You ass. What a douche. The FBI says it's open a preliminary investigation of Foley's emails. Federal law enforcement officials say attempts by Foley to meet in person could uh, constitute the necessary evidence for a federal charge of soliciting for sex with a minor on the Internet. Soliciting for sex with a minor on the Internet. In addition, uh, an another message... Foley, using the screen name, of course, MAF54, appears uh, to describe having been together with the teen in San Diego. Uh, and it starts, of course, with the uh, wonderful congressman saying, I miss you lots since San Diego. Yeah, I can't wait till D.C. You don't sound like a teenager, Jimmy. Yeah, I can't wait till D.C. <laughs> Math 54, smiley face. <laughs> that's all totally right. Smiley face, clown hat. <laughs> right. Did you pick a night for dinner? Not yet, but likely Friday. Okay. I'll plan for Friday then. That'll be fun. Uh, the message also shows the teen is at times uncomfortable with Foley's aggressive approach. I want to see you. Like I said. Not till February. Then we will go to dinner. And then what happens? We eat. We drink. Who knows? Hang out. Late into the night. And? I don't know. Don't know what? <laughs> hmm. Just say it. Say it. <laughs> I have a feeling that you're fishing here. I'm not sure what I'd be comfortable with. We'll see. See what? <laughs> He's probably... Ah, uh, see what? <laughs> Don't know word. what? See what? Just say the word. CK words are sexy. <laughs> Yeah, Foley resigned Friday after ABC News questioned him about the Internet messages. Says he's checked into rehab to deal with his alcohol and behavioral uh, issues. What a gray-haired fruit. Oh, this guy could buff. This guy could easily kill himself. He drink oh, late into the night and I don't know. Don't know what. <laughs> right. What don't uh, you know, son? Right. Feeling uncomfortable. Uncomfortable how? <laughs> right. Too big for your shorts, are you? <laughs> oh. And then lowdown in the Daily News today from Foley. Naked display of weirdness. And they got some uh, excerpts of uh, Foley going on a lot of TV shows. Yeah. And Lowdown has unearthed some of Foley's weirder whoppers from his relentless June 2003 campaign against uh, child-oriented nudist camps in Florida. What's a Foley whopper? Have it your way, young. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we need to know more about these nudist camps for teenagers in Florida. Nudist camps in Florida. He All right. He this really took this on during his 2003 campaign. He was obsessed with the uh, child-oriented nudist camps in Florida. Now, this is new to me. This is something I don't know about. I, I don't know if it's a big thing. I, I know there are nudist... <laughs> to him it is. I, I, I don't know. Uh, I know there are nudist camps out there. I know that uh, parents and uh, their their children go to them. It's something that's beyond me. I couldn't imagine uh, this actually happening. I don't know what the legalities are. Oh, we're on in Florida. Someone help us out with the child-oriented nudist camps. Yeah. But for him to dive headfirst into this whole thing, yeah. figuratively speaking, unfortunately for him, I would think this investigation for him would involve looking at pictures, reading about things like this, and probably turned him on so much... That that's why a lot of these people get into these positions where they're able to do these things. They have access to all they the information. They have access. This guy can legitimately and legally, as, as a, a head of this committee, walk in and peruse right. as much kitty porn right. as he wants. I need to see all pictures from the child-oriented right. nudist camps. Show me what's going on in these camps. Going I want on pictures. I want, uh, uh, I want reports. Uh, I want dialogue. He already, and he gets it. He already had the gay, and I guess if you're a politician, you know, there's a whole list of things you could go after. Right. And he goes, well, I'm going to go after the nudist colonies yeah. in Florida. Lucky me, look what's on the list that I could go oh. after. All right, sir, you sure you want to put that on the top of your list? Yes. Honey, you seem to be working a lot of hours lately. I work nights every day. <laughs> Honey, it's three in the morning. Could you come to bed? I'm busy at the computer. What about I have to shut down child-oriented nudist camps. What about what about port security? There's a 15-year-old and a 16-year-old mingling in the nude, playing volleyball. They need help. Frolicking in the woods. <laughs> They're flying a kite nude. 
frolicking, and they're not using their hands. We have to do something. So now take your bosom and that other thing to bed with you. <laughs> That's right. I'll be there eventually. I'll have no part of it. I got more research to do. Take that dumpster with the Davy Crockett hat on it and go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Game over for the day. Oh, wow. Damn it. I, I was looking good, too. I was, uh, really, I was confident today. Oh, my God. And so had a couple of whoppers, show too. too. Ah. <laughs> ah, why bother? There is no God. <laughs> yeah, it's obviously had... The, oh, it's damn. obviously already had the gay... <laughs> Well, yeah. And, yeah, then, yeah. and then went after us. <laughs> <laughs> Young boys. Soft uh, issues. Wow. Uh, oh, is that funny? <laughs> Thank you. That's really funny, Jimmy. Let's say hi to Cat in New Jersey. Cat. Hey, how you doing, guys? Hey. I have to say my favorite part of the whole coverage was on ABC the first night they read the transcript. Yeah. They cut to stock video of man hands typing. Then they go back to the anchor. Then they go back to the typing, and he's typing with one hand. Oh, that's close. Oh, really? They had him one hand typing? That's Full body cringe. Ew. That's good. That's really good. Uh, B in the Bronx. B? Hey, hi, guys. Hi, you B. Are the funniest thing ever. Could you please get back to reading those emails? They're so dead. Yeah, do we have any more? I don't really have those. We don't have any more. Travis oh, is no. like a champ. Travis is, is searching so them out. Funny. Searching it out. He's been the victim of a few of them. <laughs> I know. <laughs> He's getting them out of his personal email. <laughs> He's like, oh, wait, wait. This is mine. Uh. Travis is X, 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 X. <laughs> Change, change Travis to X, 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 X. Get up, guys. You are the best. The Thank very you. Best. All right. I've actually, when I'm online. Yeah, he slipped up on one. It says, I miss you lots in San Diego, Travis. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, because I'm a righty. So what I have to do is, like, I'm, I'm looking online. I'm looking at what I want to look at. And I got my mouse on the right. But let's just say you want to watch something and you realize, like, you can only use one hand. Uh, I'll actually have to take the whole mouse pad and move it to the left and move my keyboard over so I can mouse with my left. You're hand. ambidextrous with your mouse? No, 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 no. I have to. I can. I can function barely with my left hand, but you have to be. Otherwise, you're gonna. You're going to sully the mouse. Right. You don't want to sully your no, mouse. Nobody wants a mouse with wet fur. <laughs> All right, listen, we've got to take a break. When we get back, we're going to uh, find out about these child-oriented nudist camps in Florida. That's right. And uh, what uh, Mr. Foley had to say about that yeah. on all the news programs. It's in the Daily News today. And then we're going to lead uh, into 39 sex offenders in one neighborhood. We found the neighborhood. Wait a minute. We found the neighborhood. Uh, was this utopia. from the story? <laughs> <laughs> No, it's, you know... We're, Foleyville. <laughs> it's how we do the radio show. <laughs> Renamed it. We, we seg into the next thing, which has to be... Population, this. not enough. <laughs> <laughs> I think we found the neighborhood finally, yes. So we'll uh, talk about that Great. Foleyville. As, as well. Uh, Mark Foley. All right, Lowdown. Uh, Daily News. Lowdown has unearthed some of Foley's weirder whoppers from his relentless June 2003 campaign against child-oriented nudist camps in Florida, which uh, reaped a television bonanza. Bonanza. This guy was all over our TV. We didn't even know it until yep. these allegations came out. How many more? Foley there? on CNN, June 20th, talking about the child-oriented uh, nudist camps in Florida. You put... 11 and 18 year olds together in a camp where they're nude. I think it's a recipe for disaster. It's yeah. like putting a match next to a gasoline can. Disaster Ooh. for your wife doing the laundry. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> that's the only disaster that spells. Jesus, he must have gotten so worked up at the thought of that. He was trying to buy land so he could use it for those. Little... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm going to buy up all the land. I'd like a parcel, please. I'd you know, like a parcel of land. All around the nudist camps. Looks like an observatory at his house. <laughs> He's trying, to, trying to steal the Glen Gary, Glen Ross leads so he can buy the cheapest land possible. <laughs> you know what this comes down to? The guy got caught by his wife. You think? And then said, no, no, it's research. And then <laughs> like start a whole campaign. A whole campaign. Well, I'm going to be on CNN it. on Monday. You'll see. Oh, God. Yeah, she saw a newsletter that came, a nudist camp <laughs> weekly. What is this all about? Uh, research. Research. I'm a new law. I'm going to try to. Oh, Jesus. How, how am I going to get that, this? that was a close one. Why are these nude boys frolicking around a volleyball net? <laughs> volleyball. <laughs> It's always about volleyball. <laughs> sure, it is a lot of bounce. <laughs> yeah. They all have luster hair like that dummy. So then he went on um, MSNBC June 23rd, a mere three days later. This is Mark Foley. I do have to question why people, if this is such a natural endeavor, have to put it in a hot tub with 18 others. 
if you will, enjoying this kind of activity. These kids are young. I think that they should maybe be learning something other than being nude together and being thrown in a hot tub. Yeah. Maybe visiting you in San Diego or D.C., you pervert. Or hopefully whatever career you have after this. How great is that? Oh, yeah, he's done. Finished. Finished. I don't want to. Al, don't dump out of this. His goose is cooked. Hey, hey. Oof. Well, you are pushing the boundaries, well, the Jim. the Alzheimer's heard it. He, he was obsessed with this issue. <laughs> he was obsessed with this issue because a mere day later on the early show on CBS, in fact, in the very camp we're talking about in Florida, Florida, excuse me, there have been people ejected because they're trying to enter the camp because they're peering through sauna windows. <laughs> sauna windows? <laughs> so everyone is aware of these camps and they're trying to get, they're trying to get on. You ought to match those campgrounds. fingerprints up with a certain congressman. And then his nose prints. It's a perfect picture of his face in steam. Yeah, right. It's like the Shroud of Turin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, this is made for us. Is this made for us? Oh, my Love God. this guy. Same day. Creep. Just obsessed with this on Good Morning America. So he marched across Same town. Same day. He's all over town. <laughs> right. Preaching. Uh, in fact, they've coined an expression for people that visit these parts. They call them cogs. Creepy old guys. He said this. I swear. He said this. Oh. Creepy old guys are called cogs. Or maths. You are a cog. <laughs> it's maths. in the children's yeah, most maths. formative years. I think they'd be better off at a at girl uh, at Girl Scout camp, Boy Scout camp, or sports camp than a nudist or camp. Paging for me, math fifty four. You know what it is? He likes the uniforms. He yeah. likes them in Boy Scout camp. They all look lovely in their shorts and their socks and their Eagle Scout <laughs> buttons. I like the little ties. They just do it for me. <laughs> Little hats. Earn your badge, son. Kid walks away, buckling his pants, upset, wiping <laughs> leaves off his hat. <laughs> you know how much a Boy Scout hates, hates to wipe leaves off his hat? Oh, you've earned your kept a secret badge. <laughs> <laughs> Good boy. Oh, I love this guy. Yeah. He is the biggest creep, and I'm so glad he's done. Oh. Jim from Yonkers is a great instant feedback. Uh, and I, don't, I didn't know this. Maybe you guys did. Boys, Foley is single, a confirmed bachelor, if you know what I mean. Oh, really? Yeah. A confirmed bachelor. That, that's uh, I'm not as happy with that. I'd hope there'd be a whole family to just destroy yeah. over that one. Wife, kids, just like McGreevy. A couple of boys who thought those tuck-ins were normal. <laughs> and then the creep goes on uh, the O'Reilly factor. Ah, and I'm sure Bill was all for him, right? Two filth bags. Two, two perverts. Two got One guy who's getting caught with the uh, emailing young boys and another one that had to pay off some broad. Ugh, because he, he was allegedly making... Uh, uh, statements to her in the workplace. How great is it that those two put their stupid heads together? Yeah. There wow. they are, the moral right, this both is what, of them. This is what he said on the O'Reilly Factor, June 29th. <laughs> Five days later. <laughs> Five just, days later. Who else wants to talk about this? i got to take a break from this. <laughs> this guy Foley won't stop calling. He wants to talk about a boys' camp. <laughs> Why couldn't we get him on the show, man? Uh, let's see. The parents said, oh, they're supervised. They have camp counselors. They have custodial people there to watch out for them well again several cases have come to my attention where the camp managers themselves have been arrested charged with pornography ah let's hope foley is getting the rehab he deserves is how the uh, whole uh, article ends in yeah let's all hope let's for hope him. so let's his, hope his we'll pray for his lie I hope it ends with a shotgun blast to his own oh, face. Oh, God, and he survives it. Oh, and has to be <laughs> faceless MAF-54. <laughs> or he loses his hand, so he has to, like, type with his nose because he's, yeah. he's still a dick. Oh, like, just stump <laughs> typing. Shaved <laughs> wrists. <laughs> <laughs> just spending all day trying to figure out how to type with a stump. Oh, <laughs> just, God. He has to put a pin in it like a pin cushion. <laughs> C O. How <laughs> just what does W A S D E R F mean? <laughs> just clobbering the keyboard. Yeah. I want to. I want to suck your waster for us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, he gets up to that point where he can write all that out. But, it's but, too worked up, and his stump hits the keyboard. <laughs> right. I bet you have a nice smooth gashunka. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I want to feel your full of space bar <laughs> 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 oh, 
man. Oh, he's all tool. lathered up. Oh, I love him. Cool. He's, he's terrific. 39 sex offenders in one neighborhood. God, we're doing material today. I don't huh? believe it. I cannot believe that this story has any basis in fact. Yeah. Well, uh, we all remember this. One city wants to pack all their sex offenders into a three-block area. Problem is, it could be right next to your house. That was about a year ago. Right. Yep. I don't know if these uh, stories are related, but... Sure sounds like it. This was on Channel 7 very recently. Here, Here's the, uh, the news tease to start it off. 39 sex offenders in one neighborhood where all of them are living tonight and why they ended up there. Plus, watch where you step, the popular shoes that could send you on a dangerous trip. Oh, those are the Croc shoes. We the were Croc about shoes, yesterday. yeah. Whatever. Great. Croc shoes. <laughs> if you trip because you're wearing shoes. Fell off my shoes. Does society really need you? My feelings were hurt. I mean, we trip, but if the shoes are making you trip. Yeah. Well, you know how excited he got, Mark Foley, when he heard that that little boy's croc got caught in the escalator? <laughs> <laughs> he must have misunderstood. He did, yeah. He offered his assistance. <laughs> <laughs> A little spittle might help. <laughs> <laughs> you want to hear about the... Uh, of course I do. 39 sex offenders in one neighborhood. Here's the story. Dozens of sex offenders, nearly half of them classified as the most dangerous kind, all of them living within a quarter mile of each other in two adjacent communities on Long Island, Corum and Gordon Heights. Oh. How did this happen, and what would you do? How did it happen? It's a poor town. What would, yeah, what would I do? <laughs> if I was a sex offender, I'd be scared crapless and wouldn't leave my house. You ever been to Corum and that other neighborhood? It's a poor town. Holy Jesus. They know exactly. They what know to, where to put these sex offenders. They know exactly what to do with the sex offenders. Yo, sex, man, <laughs> you a sex offender? You're now living in one of the scariest neighborhoods yeah. on Long Island. You can't leave that. That's better than one of those freaking ankle bracelets. <laughs> is the neighborhood? You don't want to step out of your house. Uh, you think the neighborhood? You know, the folk are just teasing them outside their yeah. window, with like. <laughs> yeah, come on out. <laughs> Yoo-hoo! You know, putting little cutouts of young people on their front lawns. Come on out. I think we got one. All right, this is fine. Yeah, this I wouldn't worry about this. Story. Don't worry about it. And what would you do if you lived there? Jim Dolan with some answers. He is in quorum for us tonight. Jim? Hope he's Don't in an APC. You can see parents are scared here. Within just a few blocks of where I'm standing, there live... 39 convicted sex offenders. 17 of them are considered level 3 sex offenders. That means they are the most dangerous, most likely to attack young children again. Their victims as young as two years old. The problem is that many young children also live right here in this neighborhood. And parents say two. that is bound to end in tragedy. Two? Yeah, why are they why are they why alive? Are they out? Why are, why are they alive? If you've alive or out two year old, why are you free? Yeah. Why are you free? Why are you alive? Why anybody explain to me why you are out of society if you've done yeah. anything like that with a two year old? I don't understand what possible argument could a lawyer or anybody have to set you free after you've done well he's cured now, but he did it once. Yeah, he did it once. That's enough. How, what happened to the prison justice? Dude, armed robbery gets you 25 years. You do a minimum yeah. of 12, 15 years. Why are mm -hmm. you free? Jeez. Uh, I don't get it. Let's go to Tom on Long Island. He was trying to buy a house in that uh, neighborhood. Tom? Yeah, actually, uh, me and my wife were looking for the cheapest possible house. We didn't know about Gordon Heights. And we were driving down, I think it's Hawkins Avenue. Um, <clears> all the people <throat> like were standing, looking down into our cars, our car like... Escape from New York. Yeah, you know, it was it was horrible. But anyway, we drove you know down. The houses are like one hundred and thirty thousand, one hundred fifteen thousand for a five bedroom house. There's some. There's a very small part of Corum that isn't that bad. But then when you go toward that other place there, uh, that, Gordon Heights. Yeah, Gordon Heights. Then it gets really bad. Oh, it's awful. It's, yeah, it, we were scared. We were scared. Essless. We were. We were like <laughs> out of there. Yeah. yeah, believe me, you don't have to worry about these sex offenders. They're in prison again. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, they figure out how, how to keep them out. in prison. How to keep them <laughs> right. in prison. Yeah. They see the same thing when they walk out their front doors in the morning. <laughs> Guys working out. 
All right, well, their driveway. <laughs> there's a 16 year old that knows which house uh, to avoid or which houses to avoid. What happened? Oh, wow, look. Our TV commercial. God, they're playing it like crazy here in New York. She's kind of sexy, the girl. She was uh, very sexy. When she had her regular clothes on, she, she, she was, was not nice bad girl. at all. Nice dumper. She was nice, too. You can check out the Opie and Anthony commercial on YouTube. She was very, um, she had a good personality. All right, here's more audio. Say. Look at me, that look like? Who do you look like in that? Um, <laughs> chef from Apocalypse Now. <laughs> <to your mind. laughs> I'm a saucier. I'm a saucier. Oh, that's great. There that's we go. Next, Get out of the boat, man. That's what the next Stay commercial the should be. Ope just in, in like some kind of makeup putting your head in somebody's lap. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it's yours, Jimmy. Oh, face down as usual. <laughs> Give me those ribs. Oh, well, well, Mr. Crowley. <laughs> Always a little too hard. <laughs> Tickle, tickle. A lot of poking going on between you two today. Oh, you know, a couple of men just feeling each other. Just giving each other elbow to the ribs. Cop and feels. More audio. Teron White knows his neighborhood well. At 16 years old, he knows where all the men who are convicted sex offenders live and how to avoid them. Mainly, you know, from this block, houses on this side, mm -hmm. you just stay away from. Yeah. Kind of an odd way to grow up, isn't it? To, to know that there are these people living right around you. Oh, shut up. Sounds like a bright boy. There's, uh, there's, there's creeps in every freaking neighborhood in America. If that boy you're talking to is armed to the hilt, I wouldn't worry about it. Really? He, he takes care of himself. <laughs> yeah. how, how do you know which ones to avoid? I Well, there's a couple of houses that have candy leading up to the front door. <laughs> right. so I just Usually avoid those. Across the street. <laughs> I want to get a lawn chair and come Halloween, just sit out in front of this house and see what happens. That would be fun to watch. I bet you they got the best candy in the neighborhood. Oh. Know that there are these people living right around you? Yeah. Of course, he grew up this way just as his younger brother and sister have. Do you keep a closer eye on your little brother and sister because of all this? Yeah. Yeah. Um, they have to stay right in front of the house. They, nobody, well, even though this block, you really have nothing to worry about. You can walk up and down the block without, you know, being harassed, but it, you don't go looking for trouble. What are you talking about? Those guys, what, what, you have built-in babysitters. You want to go out for the night? Just call one of 39 people. We'll put, out, put an ad out. You'll have 39 phone messages. <laughs> Listen, I'm going out. I need someone to babysit. I'll take care of that. I'll take, I'm, I'm away. I'm away. Well, free, free. Won't cost you a dime. I'll pay you. I'll pay you. I'll pay you. I'll pay you. I'll bring food. I'll bring food. I'll bring a movie. I'll bring popcorn. <laughs> I'll put them in whatever you say. Uh, well, the, this is interesting. The parole boards tell offenders which landlords don't care about their status. They gotta live somewhere. If they're out, they gotta live oh, somewhere. That's nice liberal thinking of you. That's right. That's good. They should live in a little pine apartment with a satin pillow in it, <laughs> face down. <laughs> this mausoleum is a fine house for them. <laughs> sure, it's another one. Yeah, who are the landlords actually that don't care? I'd love to rent to a pedophile. What's he gonna do? Complain? <laughs> I don't have any hot water. What'd you say, kid toucher? <laughs> I'll be back later. <laughs> gonna raise your rent again. <laughs> okay, dokie. All right, whatever. These sex offenders are being steered in their direction. Kate Browning says parole boards tell released sex offenders where there are landlords that will accept them, and they don't care if there are children in the neighborhood. We had a recent incident also here in Mastic, where four Master. level three sex offenders were moved into a home. There were seven children in the home next door. There was nine children lived directly across. Of course, These maybe that's a problem too. Her children. We can't have them living in communities where there's children. But the law now says you can, and that's why Lisa Kadeska keeps a close eye on her two children. Keep them busy, and they went in the school lane. I send them in karate, mistake my beach, in football. Mm -hmm. Just go too long, we keep them busy. Mastic. Right. That's another town. I swear to you, they are loading up the low-income towns with pedophiles. Then. If that's what they did, the, hey, whatever. God bless. They don't find a problem that there's nine children living in a house and across the street. Seven next to it, sixteen kids in two seven, houses. Seven. They're, they're breathing like rabbits out there. Yeah. Why don't you just uh, move them to the old age community? There you go. Solution. That's a perfect solution. solution. Uh, we got uh, genius. Thank you, Anthony. Special uh, from FBA. I believe that's your name there, buddy. He uh, writes something instant feedback. The best way to avoid them is not be between the ages of four and seventeen. <laughs> wow, just an older community. Yep. 
And then problem solved. Problem freak. They're solved. moving them into these neighborhoods where people are having kids out of wedlock, of course. And I bet, I bet there were nine daddies to those nine children also. You ever been to Mastic? No, no. Oof. No, no. Oof. I used to buy my drugs and wine dance. What's next? Wine dance? <laughs> yeah. Is it nice? Mastic? Mastic was nice. I have home movies of me, my brother, my sister visiting uh, the bungalow that my family used to have. It was like almost a, like a timeshare, bungalow and yeah. mastic. It was wonderful. It had a nice little white picket fence around it. And the, all the aunts and uncles, we'd decide on a weekend and all go there. And they'd have like luau's and parties and built-in pool was in the back. And it was a house. And, and it was like some of the my first memories because I was really, really young. And then I decided when I got a car, when I first got a car at about 14, 15 years old, uh, that I was going to drive there and, and take a look at it, bring back some of my childhood. I drove into a town that looked like Beirut, and I found the, the bungalow, and the pool was half full of this murky gook water, all sprayed with graffiti. The house was abandoned and sprayed with graffiti and half collapsed. And the place just looked like, and it was like one of those things where maybe it's just not a good idea to ever look back. You just ca- got to kind of keep in mind what things were like. That's sad. It was really sad. And all the mastic is like that now. They call it, uh, like, uh, they, they call themselves uh, Indians out there, by the way. They think they're part of some tribe out there, but it's not. They are um, very low-income black and Hispanic people that have just completely destroyed the neighborhood. That's what's out there. What's the name of their tribe? The Jobless. <laughs> <laughs> so hack, I know. I'm sorry. I like how completely acknowledge I went hack. Not on bad. You. I went hack on you. It could have at least sounded more like an Indian name, you know. Well, someone said description of Mastic. You take the LIE to exit 68 and go south. When the grass turns brown, you're in Mastic. There yeah. you go. All right. No one takes care of uh, anything out there.